in tonight's game from Shikalimi, the Red Tornadoes against the Shikalimi Braves. I, I just want to say one thing, Wayne who? <laughs> hey, easy now. Sorry, I'm, ju I'm just happy one or two of those people out there were almost concerned. <laughs> who they were they? You have their names because I like to talk with them. No, I didn't. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the game here. Guys, we got the Shikalimi Braves here on the Braves home field. And of course, every year, no matter no matter what year you do this in, in, in high school football, every year you run up against a great pass receiver and a great passer. We had, in, in the past couple of years, we had uh, Marion Catholic with, with uh, Andrews and his crew. If you go a little further back, you had Panther Valley, and they had a, su a succession of a couple of nice quarterbacks there, one going on to uh, play college football into, into a, what the, was a championship game up in New Haven, I guess it was, and, and uh, he, he made, a, made a real career for himself over a period of time. And now we come to Shikalimi, and you're going to look at Mike Bowman, and he's throwing the ball to Mike Bartosik. And, and they are probably the most deadly combination that we're going to see the entire year, and that may include the playoffs. This, this crew will throw the ball all over the field. Bartosik truly... Uh, they tell us Division One prospect that, that you get the ball anywhere near him, he catches it. So a real test for the secondary at Mount Carmel area tonight, and, and, and again for the defensive line because you're going to have to pressure Bowman if you're going to win this game. If you allow him to throw the ball at will, there's a good chance we're going to come out in the short end tonight. Captains meet at the center of the field for the Red Tornadoes, 75, Jonathan Els, 58, Mike Sinkovich, number 80, Chris Cuff, and number 60, Jason Malakoski. The other Red Tornado captain, number 71, Dan Dalkas. Of course, Cuff comes into the game a little bit dinged, uh, sprained his knee last week. Uh, we understand he will start the game or at least play some sections of the game tonight if he can. He looked pretty well, pretty good in the warm-ups. He, he looked better, in fact, than they had at least spoken to us about last night. So. We're hoping the best for him because he's an integral part of what this game will come down to. This game will come down to, to defense and to pressure on the quarterback. Now, obviously, the only other concern we've had over a period of time, guys, in the last three or four games we've talked about this at length is will Mount Carmel area's offense on track itself in the first half? And, and that's going to be a real concern tonight because one of the things you don't want to do is fall behind this group. They're, they're extremely difficult to catch up to, and they can, you know, they throw the ball over the place so they have a lightning quick strike. They can put a lot of points up. They come into the game four and three. We come in to the game six and one. They've lost to uh, Danville, Sydney's Grove, and Jersey Shore this year. And, and at least I don't know the Jersey Shore group too well, but Danville and Sydney's Grove, two quality programs, Wayne. So they got, you know, and the Sydney's Grove game was like a one point game. Yeah, the so. well, the Sydney's Grove game is like the Schmoke Mount Carmel game. It's a backyard game here. And, and uh, you know, the emotions run high in that game. And it was a very, very good game right down to the very end. Kicking off for the Red Tornadoes will be number 58, Mike Sinkovich. Deep for Shikalimi, number two, Justin Bittner. Number 31, Sean Purdy. And we got number 25 over there, guys, it yep. looks like, which is uh, John Gombert. <laughs> Starting a little late here tonight, had some light <laughs> problems. This was nearly a day game. Yeah, nearly canceled the game, folks, over, over the lighting problem. They got him on just in time. Squib kick in the direction of Bittner. Picked up by the short back. Found a little running room to about the 35-yard line. And the initial hit made down on the bottom of the pile there, getting up number 26, Ron Lentini. Yes, and he's, he's one of the usual suspects on, on kickoff coverage. I almost thought he had his knee down when he caught that ball. It sort of looked that way. The referee was looking pretty close, but apparently not. First down and 10 for the Braves. We, got, we didn't have any, any ball. Or no, we had an extra ball there to start off with. Bowman with one back in the backfield, which is the fullback, Jared Mangle. Now take a look at this new defense you're watching here. Look what's happened out here. Bowman back to pass, looks over the middle, hits his receiver for about a five-yard gain. Nice coverage by 47, Steve Sinkovich. Quick pass over the middle. We've seen it on the first play about the last four weeks now, Warren. Right. right. Now, you, that time you saw, the first time all year, we've changed our defense a little bit. You saw the defensive end, Daukas, come out to Bartosik and actually bump him at the line of scrimmage and play short coverage. We have not seen that happen so far this year. This time they let him out. Trips on the left side there. Trips on the left side. Bowman with Daukas rushing, chased him, 
Oh, incomplete at a, about the uh, 25, in and out of the hands of Bartosik. That was a nice play by Mount Carmel area that time. They, uh, although I didn't, I didn't see uh, Bowman really look hard at, at, at the trip's thread over here. Over on this side. And You're because right. he didn't look at the coverage, he also didn't see that the end was going to crash. And that time, Douglas crashed in and actually hunted him down and, and made that throw a little bit off. Ball's on the 40-yard line, third down and about five yards to go. The trips left are set up again for the Braves. Bowman back to pass. Quick pass out into the flat, incomplete. <laughs> and what that came from, and it, it will do it. A rush, a rush will not let your quarterback get that pass away. Well, I mean, to really simplify an offense like this, to, and, and as we said, to simplify the offense, pressure the quarterback. If you pressure Bowman throughout this game, Schicklin is not going to win the game. It's a simple fact. That's an equation you can live with. If you let him stand back there or roll around, he's going to nail you. He's a good passer. He's, he's the best passer we've seen all year. <laughs> Number 40, Mike White, Mike, <laughs> Mike White in to punt for the Braves. Deep for the Red Tornadoes, 25, Jonathan Veach, and number five, Nick Sebas. Snaps back. Big rush from Malakoski, gets the kick away, bounces on the 41-yard line, and takes a shikalimi bounce, actually, after it bounces backwards. First down and 10, Red Tornadoes from the 43. Tell you what, White did not expect Malakoski to be in that quick. Well, that was right a big rush, wasn't it? Very, very nice move there by Malakoski on the line to get through. Rushed the punt, and consequently, it was a very short one. From their own 44. Red Tornadoes set up with Sebas at quarterback, Bailey at the fullback, and 25, Jonathan Veach at tailback. The Braves will come out in their standard 4 4 defense. Out of the eye formation. Game. Going to go to Bailey, tries him up the middle. Great tackle made by the defensive tackle from the left side. Uh, 66. He just slid right across without any problem. 66, which is uh, Joshua Weisen. Weisen, they say it here. Second down, nine yards to go. Gain of one on the play. Second and nine from the Mount Out of the split backs, Van Doren goes in motion to the left side. Sebas keeps the ball. Oh, First and down through. and more. This is a touchdown for the Red Tornadoes. He weaved his way through the line. Touchdown, Tornadoes. Nice, nice play oh. that time. And really, Sebas showed a lot of patience, guys, he that waited. time. He waited. He yeah. waited. That's that same play we saw yeah. him sometimes bump into Mike Sinkovich, or, or the pulling yeah. guard. That time he waited and, and uh, weaved his way through the line. A quick strike by the offense, and that's exactly what the coaching staff wanted. They wanted this offense to start putting some points on the board, and they wanted them in the first half. Mike Zinkovic in to attempt the extra point for the Red Tornadoes. Snaps back from Els to Paracella. It's down. The kick's up. He missed it. And it's no good. Flags on the play. Now, I don't know. I don't know what we had going there. The, the whole that whole play was <laughs> kind of wrecked from the start there. That's going to go against. Legal procedure called against the Red Tornadoes. So the kick's no good. With 10-19 left, the score, the Red Tornado six, the Braves nothing. Might have been our might have been our quickest strike so far. Yep. This year, I think, guys. Do you remember one quicker than this? I don't. No, I think we probably put points on our quickest. And that we had supper club last night. Uh, great supper club, full house last night. Everybody had a good time. We had uh, some great kids with us, but the coaching staff was really emphasizing that the name, they pick a word for, for, the, for the word of the game each week. The word of this game is perf was perfection. I mean, they were truly telling them no more dumb penalties, no more offside penalties, no more that kind of stuff. You got to put the ball on the ground, you got to grind out some yardage, and you got to score some points to take the pressure off this defense. 58, Mike Sinkovich will kick off for the Red Tornadoes. And I don't know if he tried the squibber kick last time. It looks like he has the ball set up to do that again. Mm -hmm. Now this one, he line drives down, bounces, picked up by 31. Purdy at about the four yard Ooh. line and he's hit big at about the 14. He got Paracella coming off the right. I think the real hit was, was Lentini. Lentini again, put that real hit on there and he had the missile down there, Moreau was also. Lentini went low. Yeah, I mean, Lentini was the guy that took him down. Right out. 
That's two big plays on, on two kickoffs for Lentini tonight. And again, he's he's a he's the kind of player that, that just gives you 185 yeah. percent every single time he's and, on the field. And those are the players that make the make the special teams. Right. You know, I mean, we we can pick you know all of them out there. Every three, four of them, 100 percent going down that field. Bowman back to pass, looks at Bartosic, oh. catches the ball, and he's other than Sebas breaks through to the three, to the 42 yard line. Flag nice down. reception, great reception by Bartosic. Yeah, but I think that's coming back. Double, double, deep in the double coverage on that play, and he did a great job of pulling that ball in. Both, you're not you're not going to see a receiver the rest of the year like you're going to say tonight. This number 11, Bartosic, is truly everything you could ever imagine a receiver in high school can be. Uh, the, the big play negated, of course, by uh, a penalty on Shikalimi. It happened in the backfield, one of the linemen, I guess. So, and again, that's again goes back to the key. I mean, there's only one key to the game. The key is pressure the quarterback. In order to pressure the quarterback, you're, you're putting that line, uh, the, the best defensive line I think we've seen in a long time from Mount Carmel area, and that's going yeah. some, because there's some, some been some dandies, but Chickalimi's offensive line has really got their work cut out for him, and you see where, where that where that pressure point comes on a big penalty then. Actually, I think it was, was it an illegal formation? No. He had his no, two got... hands behind his head? Oh, I, th I didn't think he was signifying that. Okay. But, you know. Well, here we go with first down and long. Oh, my goodness. They try mangle Kovic. up the middle. And Stevenson Kovic, Kovic with the initial, the initial hit, hit along with uh, Jay Malakoski was right. there. Yeah, that was a little bit of a draw play. Is really what they were trying to do there. Just let him sit there for a second on a delay and then take right. it up the middle. But he, he got. Don't do that with this, no, he just got completely wrapped line. up. So he's had a second down and. and Again, it's second down and 18. 18 he gained absolutely yep. no yardage on that last play. <laughs> Ball's resting right now on the eight yard line. Bowman, back to pass. Looks crazy, right across the middle, hits Bartosic and gets it out to the 22. Will be short of a first down by about three yards, but what a nice throw and what a nice catch. Yeah. He had, three, he had three guys on him. Yep. He cut the ball with three guys on him. Unfortunately, that's going to bring up a fourth down, and Chickalini is going to have to punt the ball, but it's only a fourth down by two yards, and it was third and 18. So, again, this kid will, if you only have to get the ball within five yards of him, he's going to come down with it. Plus, the quarterback is putting it right on the money, giving him, en you know, enough time to watch the ball, watching the defenders and how they're playing. Mike White, Mike White in punt formation. Malakoski with the rush again. Kicks away in the direction of Veach. He calls fair catch on the 46-yard line. First down and 10 red tornadoes. Looks like he's about the 47. Early in the game now, the field position has been Mount Carmel area right now. The Braves have, have started started uh, in a hole and in the last series put themselves even further in the hole. Mount Carmel area both times started above their own 45-yard line on the field. So that always helps on offense when that happens. And again, we'll be interested to see how we uh, continue to, uh, this offense tonight. Single back for the Red Tornadoes. Pitches back to Veach. Tries going outside off tackle and a big hit made by 31, Sean Purdy. Second down, 10 yards to go, no gain. No game in the play. Second and 10. 8 9 left in the first quarter. 6-0 Red Tornadoes. Mike Smith split far right for the Red Tornadoes. Paracella split far left. Out of the eye formation. Tavich off the left side. Finds lots of room. Cuts it back at about the 34. Fumble. And is down at the 30. Recovered by the Braves. Nice run by Beach that yes, time, but they was. just got the ball right at the last second for his knee touched the ground and causing a fumble. Braves take over. But a nice, again, a nice play by Mount Carmel area and a good running play that time, and that's really what we're trying to emphasize here is putting the ball on the ground and trying to run it. I mean, just the, the yes, fumble's the unfortunate end of that one. Unfortunately, you're right, because well, they're beautiful blocking in the line, and, and Veach making a nice cut across the center of the field there right before he was hit. That came from trying to get that extra yardage. Yeah, it, it happens. That's you, right, that's, that's right. what it is. That's what you want. Bowman out of the yeah. eye. 
Back to pass. Looks at Bartosic. Big rush from Malakoski. <laughs> Has him at the 22 and helped out by 58 Mike Sinkovic. Malakoski almost took the ball out of his hand. You yes, can see he what he did. did there. The quarterback turned, and then all, all that the quarterback was thinking about was keeping the ball because Malakoski had his hand on it as he dropped it back to throw. <laughs> Now again, there's there's a case there where the quarterback's rolling against against the grain actually right. his throwing arm, right. and he did have to readjust his body to try to throw it down to uh, Bartosic. Second down, 18 yards to go. 7:17 left in the first. And timeout is going to be called by the Braves. They're missing one player. I think the thing to look at defensively, Mount Carmel area, and. and I said this earlier in the season that sometimes Malakuski's kind of getting getting short changed there from everybody because he's being double and triple team on the line of scrimmage, and he got an All American. I mean that's a, that's a focal point for another team, but I would say that in the last three games oh. he has come on truly like gangbusters, yeah. and there's just no stopping him. I mean he's he's just kicked it up to another level here in the past uh, two or three games, and that's I mean he's in the backfield all the time. He, he's pressuring all the time now. And uh, that's that's what separates him from a lot of the other players. And the other guy that you're seeing is Sinkovich. Now, that leaves Evans, who you don't talk enough about. And again, Evans, if you could just pay a little bit of attention to what's happening in the middle of that line. Evans, on, on many plays, Evans is taking the guard in the center, and then sometimes oh, the right. back, you know, depending on who's back there guarding. So here's a guy getting hit two, three times every play by, by different players the whole time. And yet, the, the real true key to him is not so much that you're not calling his name, but that nobody's running up the middle. I mean, that's, unfortunately, it's the right, dirtiest right. job you got to do, but nobody runs up the middle on Mount Carmel area because 54 is sitting there. Bowman with Mangle the lone back and flags on the play. It'll be offsides or a motion. It, it could be a legal procedure against the yeah, uh, I didn't, I didn't see Braves, movement, but, but I didn't uh, see movement either. Yeah, it looks like it's going to come come their way. Dead ball foul, offsides, red tornadoes. You can afford one of those right now, and it's still going to be <coughs> second and 13. So. Straight drop back. Quick pass, oh. big hands from Chris Cuff, and he blocked that one. And that, that's the other dimension that we probably bring to a football right. game that we didn't see in a long time, was how many blocked passes at the line of scrimmage so far this season. And it is because of the, the size of our tackles and our, and our yeah. defensive ends. They are just so tall. I, and, I, and I would have to say the four of them above average. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think for high school, yes. You got so you got such height on, on on this line, and they're such athletes they can leap so right. high. Sometimes it's impossible to throw a ball past them. Trips right for the Braves. Bowman straight drop, big rush from Malakoski. Oh, great play nice by play. 29 Paracella. Yep. Good job by Josh Paracella. Great. That, you know what that is? That's position. He had great position that time on on uh, Bartosic and got right in front of him, and that was the end of the play. And the Braves again are going to have to punt. Fourth, fourth down, and that'll bring White in to punt for the Braves. Deep for the Red Tornadoes, Veach and Sebus. Watch for a rush from the Red Tornadoes. They actually get the snap off, and they set up for a run back. Bounces in front of Veach and goes out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. First down and 10, Red Tornadoes. Yeah, we, so far now, we've started started every offensive drive in almost exactly the, the same, same spot. spot. Yeah. <laughs> With not much variety there so far, anyway. Yeah, the initial touchdown run, I think, was 47 yards, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's always right in the same spot all the time here. Sebas with split backs, fakes to Bailey and Veach, looks downfield, has Paracella incomplete at about the 36-yard line. Pass to Paracella, broken up by Nick Curry. That time, a nice pass. He was right on target that time, a little high at the end of the sideline there. Paracella made a good leaping try at it. And Mount Carmel area, of course, looks looks want to be trying to try everything in the in the in the, right. the book a little bit here to see what's going on and see what they can get rolling there. Moreau's now into the into the ball game, and he took Cuff's place at that tight end position. And we've seen him last week, and he uh, he fared for very well last week, as I knew he would. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Tries Veach. Off the left side. Has to take it back out because it just blocked up over there. And 55, I guess you could give him credit for the hit, which is uh, Sheeler, John Sheeler. Third down, about nine yards to go. <coughs> Red Tornadoes look like they want to go left tonight, Warren. I never got them. I'm not even going to call it. <laughs> if, I, if I say yes, they'll throw the rest of the series <laughs> and the half will go right. So I'm not even going near that one. <laughs> well, they might be picking on somebody over there. Steve is going to keep the ball on a delayed draw. And he's tackled after about a one yard gain. 74 in on the tackle for the Braves, which is Scott Fleming and Purdy also in there. Punting situation for the Red Tornadoes. Whoever we're picking on over there won that one. 5.50 left on the clock, running down in the first quarter. Sinkovich back to punt. Terry Meyer with the snap. Snaps back, kicks away. Good punt, spiraling down, hits on the 18-yard line, and a nice tackle made by it's Lentini. Lentini. 26, <laughs> Ron Lentini. He's made the tackle so far in every single <laughs> kick of the game. So he's, he's three for three right now. My goodness, Lentini's having a heck of a ball game out here. And Lentini will stay in the ball game here in the defensive backfield for Mount Carmel area. Five thirty-five left in the first quarter. The ball's on the twenty-one yard line. Bowman. Tries it up the middle of the mangle, finds some room that time, and gets it for about a nine yard gain. A little quick opener off the right side and yeah. some good blocking. It was yeah. trap, a trap. Was play. it a trap? That's exactly what they did. They let somebody come in a little bit and trapped with the guard. First down, Braves at about the 30 yard line. It's the initial first down of the game for the Braves here at 5.09 in the first period. But you know what, when you throw the ball that many times, you get the, the defensive line oh, thinking right. pass. Pass. Bowman, he's going to roll to the left. Big rush that time from Mike Sinkovich. Great tackle at the 20-yard line. Great job by Mike Sinkovich. Yeah, Bowman, Bowman was dead from the start there. I mean, he was. there was no way he was going to do anything. Sinkovich was just all over his guy and into the backfield. He was actually in the backfield before the roll started, when you think about yep. it. <laughs> well, they're trying to roll to actually buy Bowman more time, but it appears on the roll, it, it appears on the quick drop back, he's getting a little more time than he is yeah, on yeah. the roll. Yeah, the roll hasn't been successful so far. And the good thing with him, though, is he can throw so well on the run, and that's, that's unusual for a high school quarterback. Second down, 20 yards to go. Tries Mangle on that play up the middle again, and Jason Malakoski, 60, hanging on to his legs. And Myers was there to say hello, just to see how things were going. Mangle on the carry. Third down, about 17 yards to go. Well, the game has been played in front of our window, Warren. Yeah, we haven't had to move much, have we? Because <laughs> <laughs> when it gets down to the other end, it's going to be nasty. Oh, yeah. 3.43 left in the first. He rolls, Bowman rolls to his right. Oh, through behind the receiver, number two, Justin Bittner. And, it, and there's a, a good play right there. Quick three-step drop that we've seen so many games already this mm -hmm. year. Hit somebody over the middle. Now, in that case there, the receiver was open, but he threw behind him. Yeah, well, and what they had done there was they, they kind of compensated a little bit, and, and they only put two receivers in, in the whole pattern. Right. Uh, Bartosik and number two were the only guys in the pattern that time. Everybody else tried to stay in and help the quarterback. White in the punt. This time they set up for a return again. Kicks it out of bounds at about the 47-yard line in Shikalimi territory. First down and 10 red tornadoes. Yeah, that, that punt's going to hurt a little bit. It really gives Mount Carmel area its best field position, and it's had excellent field position the entire game to start off with. But now they start inside Shikalimi territory. And the pressure is on the Shikalimi defense right now to come up big right here, already down 6 nothing in the first period. Red Tornadoes were missing a, a player there, and they have to call timeout on that play. 
Actually, they're missing a guard. Yes, they are, and I'm not sure why. I mean, why, why would they be missing a guard right now? Because he got... I think Mike Sinkovich is over on the sideline. They're, right. work, they're working on him over there, and we, we just never saw they were doing some work on him. Actually, they were because, fixing his helmet. Yeah, That's because, what they were doing. Booker came I mean, in. Booker, but Booker, yeah, Booker's the guy I was sitting, I saw him coming in. Right. But he would not have been normally in there. Right. And now you see Sinkovich back in. But that's what that's what threw us up a little bit. I don't think anybody saw Mike on the, on, on the in the backfield there, back at the bench getting his helmet worked on. But this this isn't this isn't going to go well in the perfection word. <laughs> <laughs> Gives Coach Williams, of course, a chance to do some one-on-one -on -one talking with the offense as they start off on a first and ten. Three thirty-two left in the first. Trips left for the Red Tornadoes. Fakes the pitch and takes it on a draw right up the middle. Big hole behind Sinkovich, Dalkas, and Els. And it's there. They they that fake out, they move outside, oh, and they got to go up that middle, Warren. They're in a 4-4 to Whoa. start off with. And what they did there was they shaded the, the, the left inside tackle. They shaded him even further out than he needed to be, I think. And all you do there is Els takes two steps forward and just turns. And as he turned, he completely demolished that guy yeah. and just left a gaping hole for Stevens to come through. Now, I think they need to adjust that defense a little bit there uh, or that play is going to hurt them again. Pitch out to Veach, tries to take it outside, does, cuts it back in the middle of the field, gets a good block downfield, touchdown, Red Tornadoes. Good block from 27, Van Doren. Yeah, that, now that time they made it look easy, I'll tell you what. Now, now, it's easy to look at. John, great, some great cutbacks and all, but they really found a little bit of hole in that yeah, defense they did. Yeah, this they did. time around. And great they block. To exploit. That time a great block from Vokler on the left uh -huh. side. Yes. Yeah, the 4-4 the four, four lends itself to some, some running. You know, that, that's what you're going to get out of the 4-4. Four, four. You're going to maybe run a little bit inside, and that's exactly what they were trying to yeah. do. Plus, plus, you got your middle linebackers keying on your halfbacks. Right. And what what right. uh, Nick did was a beautiful fake pitch going left and it, and all you have to do is get that linebacker stepping and he shielded yeah. power formation and Sebas keeps the ball to the corner of the end zone good for two with 302 left in the first quarter the score the red tornadoes 14 the Braves nothing now, Mount, Mount Carl area uh, comes out with a bang in this game for the first time since the early part of the season really uh, the Braves of course uh, if you look at them and you were going to look at their scouting report the report would read you know fabulous passing game can, can throw for tons of yardage, but the other thing it's also going to say is they probably are a little bit weaker on defense than they'd want to be, and you're seeing Mount Carmel area exploit that. One of the things we didn't talk too much about in this game, but which is going to be a factor in this game, it has been in every other one and will be for the rest of the season, no matter how long the season goes, is speed. Right. And you're seeing Shikalimi truly does not match up well speed-wise to us, and that's, that's what's hurting them right now. You got some great blocking on the line this time. Yeah. If they're crisp, you can. The difference in now is you're seeing that they're off the ball. They're coming off the ball. They're they're engaging their guy a little bit downfield instead of in the backfield, and yeah. consequently you're up 14 points and you're still with the 302 left in the quarter. So it bodes well right now for Mount Carmel area if they continue to play offensively like this, the game could very quickly become a blowout. And when I say that, that means that the game will end 14-13, and I'll be, like, biting my knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Sinkovich with the kickoff. Kicks it high this time. Taken by 31 Purdy. Cuts it back up the middle of the field and carries it out to about the 27-yard line. Tell you what, nice play by Van Doren there. Van Doren yes. came down full speed, took on a blocker, knocked him over, and made the initial hit on the, and, on the receiver. And Smith was actually the guy that then brought him down, yep. Mike Smith down there on the on the coverage. So, And Smith, you know, had, had a kind of a coming out party last week in front of us too. And, and we'd seen that we'd seen that kid over a period of this year, you know, every game just a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and then boom, with North Schuylkill. I think if you ask North Schuylkill what happened to them, they'd say Mike Smith yep. happened to us last week. Bowman out of the eye formation. Going to give it to Trees, the tailback, for the first time tonight. Close to a first down at about the 36-yard line. Then Paracella making the stop, but in the, in the Mount Carmel area backfield that time, and he picked up very close to a first down. It's 
about second and inches. Yeah, it's very, very close to a first down. Good passing down for the Braves. Right, you, that, can waste you know, one. they can waste one here, right. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the Braves, 36. Going out of the eye again. Bartosik is one-on-one -on -one over on the right side. Bowman keeps it on the option, the trees, and another gain of about maybe eight or nine yards to about the 50-yard line. Nice run that time by the uh, the tailback trees of the Braves. That was yeah. a good call by Shikalimi. They, you know, we had our linebackers up in the center. We were, we were blocking the center out, and, and they run a... Uh, an option play to the left, excellent call. Yeah, they, they fooled us completely that time and, and consequently picks up big yardage. Meyer actually was the guy that saved the touchdown there, I think, by pushing him out of bounds. First down, 2.15 left in the first. Oh, almost a fumbled snap. Looks long, has Chesney. Bartosic <laughs> broke it up from yep, Chesney. Great right. job by Nick Chesney to nearly intercept that. and. Other than a great play by Bartosik on defense defending him, uh, it would have been a, it would have been a Chesney interception. Hey, it's it's not it's not I can't have any sympathy there. Break the rule. The rule is don't throw to Chesney's side. You want to throw to Chesney's side? He's going to hurt you every single time. Chesney does not get beat. It's as simple as that. Second down, ten yards to go. Two oh nine left on the clock in the first quarter. Oh, good job by Bowman, and then number 77 jumps off for uh, Chicky, Chickalimi, the uh, Manning, so we'll see what they call here. I thought we were offside yeah. on that one, to tell you the truth. I don't know where it's going to go, but I thought it was us. It was us. Offsides called against the Red Tornadoes. That's just a good a good count call by uh, Bowman to... to uh, change his voice count right Wayne and, and get them to jump offside like that right now I don't know what the call is on that you have to you have to watch the quarterback uh, you don't know if he's making a head movement on a quick count you know because he might be changing his cadence there's just a plain pitch out to trees red good by number one Terry Meyer close to a first down well they're, they're getting outside now of us a little bit on this this option is coming out so now the option play the first couple of times you run an option, a lot of times it's successful. That's just because, I mean, the defense is not used to an option play. Now, I don't think they can run an option play consistently throughout this ball game. But that surprise factor you get, you right. know, if you run it two or three times or four times a game, yeah, you can do it. But I don't think you're coming outside all the time like that. And in particular to the short side of the field like right. that. They've done it three times now. Trees, they try him up the middle. He fumbled on the play, recovered by Sinkovich. No, Dalkus. no Dalkus, and he has the ball to the 39-yard line. First down and 10 red tornadoes. It almost, the play nearly stopped, but the ball was laying right out right. the middle yeah. of the field. Yeah, the, ball, the ball popped out really, really fast and came, it wasn't anywhere near the pile. It was just that, right. Dalkus was trying to pick it up, and had he gotten it on the first pickup, he would have scored a touchdown, I think. But great play that time, heads up play by Dalkus, because everybody else on the field wasn't even looking at him. I don't think anybody else knew the ball was out. I don't either. He was about the only one that saw it. 122 left in the first quarter. The Red Tornadoes first down from about the 39-yard line. Out of the I formation. Back to pass. Looks out in the flat. Hits Van Doren. Gain of about seven yards. A nice little nice. crisp play to start on first down, guys. Yeah, that's what you I like. I always like that play. Van Doren, boy, he, I'll tell you what, he took the ball and made that turn. He was going. That's what you like to see in, the, in, in a pass receiver. As soon as he catches it, boy, he was ready to go. Unfortunate yep. fumble for the Braves, though, folks. I mean, you think yeah. about it. It was the best drive they've had so far. And the fumble the ball like that's got to be disheartening. Now Mount Carmel area deep in Chickalimi territory. Once again, still in the, in the first quarter. Smith comes in motion. Gives the ball to Veach. Second back through. First down at about the 29. John Beach on the carry. Waiting for the spot. I think here. it's the first yeah, down. We're up waiting there. <laughs> yeah, he gave it to him. 28 seconds and winding down in the first quarter. 14-0, Red Tornadoes in the lead. Bailey and Veach in the backfield, pitches out to Veach, and 
Nice play made by number 33, Mangle. That's the end of the first quarter. The score, the Red Tornadoes 14, the Braves nothing. And you are listening to this, ladies and gentlemen, this is WKMC TV. Broadcasting directly from the campus of Mount Carmel Area High School over a microwave signal, WLX. Get to meet some of the students down there that run this whole operation. They're the real people that are running this operation, right, not, us. not us. You get to see the real, the real announcers then. And uh, you'll have a good time. If you get a chance at 7.30 in the morning, try to tune in and see what the kids are doing. 6.30, back room Matucci's coming into the meat of the season now. Folks, two more games. You start talking about district playoffs and uh, state playoffs and that kind of stuff. And that's when that's when being down there is truly interesting. And we had a, a great crowd last night, really did. Enjoyed ourselves. Uh, had, had, we had chicken parmesan, one of my favorites. And of course, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> well, everything uh, is your favorite. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All right, so kill me, huh? Of course, Nick and, and Grace Matucci treating me like a king down there. I'm not, I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm always concerned that <laughs> Savis. It was supposed to look like a screen pass. Now looks deep in the end zone. Touchdown to Paracella. Good catch by Josh Paracella. What a nice throw by yes. Sebas. Good throw. Looked like maybe a screen pass being set or not. No, I think they were going was deep it? the whole time. Okay. Yeah, it looks it looked that way. Now, if you take a look, when you take a look at that pass, I, it looked like the two defenders on, on Paracella, and he was double teamed, overran him. And Paracella just turned around and yeah, well, catched the ball. He adjusted real well yes, to the ball that time, and I think that was a key to the play, the way he adjusted. The other two guys didn't. Number 58, Mike Sinkovich in to attempt the extra point. We're short a guy again. Well, I think we're a guy, yep. Snaps back from Els to Paracella. The kick's up by Sinkovich, and it's good. With 11.53 left in the first half, the score, the Red Tornadoes 21, the Braves nothing. And again, the, the key here, there's two big things going on as you're watching this game. Number one, the defensive line. Is, is putting so much pressure on, on Bowman that he, that he is not getting time to sit up and throw the ball. And the other thing is our offensive line is giving Sebas so much time in the world to set up and throw the ball. So it's what we expected from them, we're picking up on the offensive side. Now the Braves got themselves in a pretty, pretty big hole. Yes, they do. But with their passing attack, that's what you need to try to get out. Well, actually, they're probably the, the other thing to say about them is in, in, so far this season, other than probably uh, Allentown Central Catholic, they're probably the only other team we face that, that can come back from a 21-0 right. deficit against us. They have the ability with that passing to do it. Kickoff by Sinkovich goes to the right side of the field, bounces a little bit taken by Purdy, tries it up the middle. Tackle made there by 28 Bailey and 41, 41. Mickey Morose. I heard that sound there. Tsh, the missile. <laughs> he was down. <laughs> the guy didn't missile. He's a heat seeker. He is. You just let him loose. I mean, that's all you do with him. Send him in the game. Turn that little switch on him. Boom. I don't think <laughs> let they can control go. him. <laughs> I think that's his whole thing. We're back. Missed a little bit there, but it's trying off the left side of the Red Tornado line. That was second down with four yards to go. Mangle was the ball carrier. Stop made by Evans, Terry Meyer, and Sinkovich in there. Okay, folks, we, we got to apologize a little bit, and It's a little bit out of our control. Of course, you, you've heard that, that, that the stadium itself is having electrical problems and has from the very beginning. It almost canceled the game. We are now going to be showing this game with only one camera for the remainder of the game because of those problems. Also, 
You just saw us leave for a little while, and that may occur again, so kind of bear with us for the rest of the game. Out of the eye. Bowman back to pass. Looks at Bartosik in and out of his hands at the 49-yard line. He tried to force that one. Double coverage that time by Chesney and Sebas. Right now, there's there's no one in this press box touching an electrical outlet. <laughs> Everybody's trying to stay three feet away from an electrical wire. Because everything's pretty touchy in this stadium at the moment. They had to completely rewire the fuse box well, that, took that the controls the lights they and all They took here. them out. <laughs> so it's a hot wire. We're kind of holding our breath here as the game goes on electrically. 10.39 left in the first half. Second down and 10 yards to go. Bowman. Quick drop, throws it over the middle to number two. And a nice reception made by Bittner, close to a first down. It is a first yeah, he's down. Gonna, he's going to pick the first down up. And Bittner made a nice play that time. And Bittner's probably, I guess, the unsung guy in this whole offense with, with uh, the big guy, Bartosik, all the time. But if, if you got a guy like Bartosik, you better have a Bittner because right. you're going to see Bartosik get double teamed all the time. You got to have another guy out there that can catch the ball. And that's what we're doing. We're shifting over here to Bartosik. Bartosik goes in motion. It's a end around red well by 58 Sinkovic and then finishes off by a group of red tornadoes over there. Looks like Terry Meyer getting up. Mike was standing in the backfield waiting for Bartosik to come I, over. I think he knew that one was uh, coming, didn't too. he, guys? Second down, 12 yards to go. We were watching him run that in the pregame, uh, that exact play. Yeah, we, we were. watching him do that. And what they're trying to do is you get two things. You get, you're get you trying to get the ball in the Bartosik's hands, of course, because he's an, just an all-around excellent athlete. At the same time, you use him as a decoy by putting him out there on, on the split end, and that, that draws you a little bit away. Then put him in motion. You never know what he's going to do then. Bowman looks on the slant. Hits him. Great play. Touchdown, Braves. Beautiful slant pass to number two, Bittner. Yeah, he got Bittner that time right on the money. And it was a quick. That's what we said the whole time uh, in the first quarter is that he was rolling out and giving the defense too much time to put pressure on him. That time he took not even three steps. It was only a two-step drop. He turned and hit him in stride. Bowman has an arm and a slant. I'll tell you what, it works, guys. You get that one coming over the middle. Yeah. We got the five foot three inch guy, yeah, kicker in here. Ja now. Garrett Bloom, he's five foot three inches, snaps down, the kicks up, Ooh. and he kicks it about 42 feet high. It's good. With 9:31 left in the first half, the score: the Red Tornadoes 21, the Braves seven. As I said, they, they're the only team, probably other yeah. than ACC, that can do this. You, you got to stay alert on every single offensive play. And again, sometimes there's. They're, you got such good athletes out there on this on the offensive side of the ball for Schick that sometimes no matter what you do you're not gonna you're not gonna beat them I mean that's just what happens when you get really good athletes out there and he just threw a perfect pass wow and 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 there was some nice fakes in the in the backfield which kind of froze the defensive backs a little bit caught him looking a little bit and boom he was gone and Bittner I'll tell you what showed some nice a little speed, speed there yes, wasn't he there showed some nice yeah. speed when he pulled away like that too so and you are right for for a team like Schickelimi to succeed they do need the Bittners you know, you have Bartosik, who's going to be double teamed every game. So you need that that extra player there that could break out in the open. And, and when he catches the ball, can pick up some yardage for mm -hmm. you. Sean Purdy is going to cut kick off for the Braves. A squib kick and covered. Oh, it's no. not covered. It was not covered. And it looks like it's re. It, it appeared Booker had tried to cover the ball yeah. and he missed it and it came out and it was uh, covered by the Braves. First down and 10 Braves from the 39 yard line. And you know, Warren, when you say 21 points, I don't think 40 points is enough against a passing offense like the Braves have. Yep. The ball hit the ground there was spinning like a top when it hit the ground. That was a perfect onside yes, kick. Yes, it was. And just couldn't get the handle on it. Think timeout called here, guys, or not? No. Uh, no, okay. No, he's trying to set the clock. He's trying to tell him now he set the clock. So 928 left game in the first half. Schick takes the ball over in Mount Carmel area about the 39 and a half yard line. <coughs> Bowman checks out what's happening over on the right side of the field here. Tries it to 31, the ball carrier, which is a new tailback in there, Sean Purdy. Terry Meyer in on the stop. 
and who's down on the bottom there looks like Malakoski. Second down, six yards to go. You got to stop Shakir and get, stop some of that momentum that they have right now. If they score again, this is going to be one whale of a football game. Well, he took trees out at the tailback, and they put uh, Purdy in there. Now Mangle is the lone back. He's the fullback. Look like offsides here, but they don't call it. Pass caught, and a good tackle made by 41 Steve Sinkovich on 21 Mike Moyer. That's, that was only actually a gain, though, of, of a half a yard. You know, I was going to say, we didn't take a lot of yardage up on that fast, but... Well, actually, it was three it's yards. Right, about yeah. three Third down, together. three yards to go. It looked like a lot more, though, when you, when you saw it, the play develop. But you take a look at uh, at Bowman. It, it's real quick now. It's nothing deep roll or anything. Right. It's just no, three steps, and you're, he's looking to throw. Schick's coaching staff really adjusted a little bit to the, to the, off, to the defensive a little bit, and... And Bowman can throw the ball. It's a matter of getting him in a place where he can do it. And that's what they're trying to do now. Trips right on the short side of the field for the Braves. Bowman, a little bit longer run back this time and a great tackle by 71, Dan Dalkus. <laughs> wow. Well, in, in that case there, you take a look at trips to the short side. Our defense had those receivers all blocked up no more than five yards off the, off the line of scrimmage. So when Bowman turns around, he has nobody to throw to. Timeout called by the Braves. It was real wide yeah. to the uh, to the holder. So with 7.40 left in this first half, the score, the Red Tornadoes 21, the Braves 13. Making a score, Mount Carmel 21, Chicago 13. Are we going to see an onside kick again, guys? I doubt it. I, I doubt they're going to do that twice. That was, they just caught us by surprise. They really did, and that's, that's the, the, where the best onside kicks are, the one that catches completely by surprise. And that was a great call by the, by the staff yes, at Chickalimi. It really was to, to, to do that. I don't know. He's got a funny angle on that ball. Number 31 will kick off for the Braves, Sean Purdy. Looks like he's going over there. Boy, it certainly does. Doesn't he has he? that look, doesn't he? He certainly is. Same bounce, picked up by one Terry Meyer and carries it back to about the 39 yard line. Not as good as, a, as good of a kick that time, Wayne, in that he got too far downfield. Well, I, I think at this time, I, you know, I think we're sort of uh, looking for it over on that side. Uh, you know, they might be doing that. They might do that for the rest of the evening if they have a chance to kick off again uh, for the simple reason of the uh, deadly speed that we have back there. Red Tornadoes from their own 39 yard line. First down, Red Tornadoes. High backfield for the Red Tornadoes this time. Hands to Veach, tries it off the right side, finds some room, more Still than 10-yard boy, and Jonathan Veach just turns yep. on those little extra flag jets down. and a flag on the play. Late flag, right at the end of the play, it came flying in. And before we figure what that is, though, I'll tell you what, I'm still going to say that I'm a real big backer of the eye back formation. <laughs> Face mask called oh, definitely. against the Braves. Face mask violation against the Braves. We seem to be at our most successful when we're running out of the eye. 74 into the lineup for the first time in a while for the uh, Red Tornadoes. That's O'Brien coming back after the knee injury, guys. Yeah, and it's good to, it's good to see him out there. It really is. He, uh, he's had such a tough time right now with injuries and things, and... He manages to get back into the lineup, and that's exactly what you want to see a kid. He's six foot two, 200 pounds, so you, you want to see him get back on the field, but you also want to be real careful, and they were real careful with him coming back. Really? He was cleared to come back a couple of games ago, but they wanted to be absolutely sure he was ready. Twins left for the Red Tornadoes. Man in motion makes trips out here on the draw. Again. Big opening up the middle. Down to about the five-yard line, and wow, some good blocking there by the, oh, the by center. the center, the center of the turn. line. And, Whoa! I mean, he got the All-American or All-State else there coming out, and the two guards that time, and and they're truly controlling those two linebackers. And a line, they they take their 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 four linemen, and they take the two inside guards, and they move them out. Right. Then they take the two inside linebackers, and they move them in. So they're bunched almost side by side there. So you got to control them right away. And so far, that play's been a big play all evening. <coughs> 
Tries to the right side behind Veach. Do I guess he's down on about the 11, isn't he? Yeah, the, well, he's going to be inside. Yeah, you know, he's inside the 10 yard line. Right. Now. It's but initially, we started right. on about the 11. Yeah, he wasn't okay. on, what would you say? The five. I said the, the five, six. right. He's about the, he's, I'd say the nine, I would say. Second and seven from the Breezy. Second down, seven yards to go, and the ball's on the eight. There we go. You were close, Warren. Now, if you can't, if you can't put this, if you can put this in here, it's going to take a lot of wind out of, out of the brave sails right now. Smith goes in motion to the right side. Sebas keeps the ball. Good play made that time by number 72 from the Braves, which is uh, Santuki. Okay, folks, we can also tell you now that we're going to be back to two cameras. We must really feel pretty good about plugging that baby back in. So you may see us using two cameras for a while until the entire place goes completely dark. Oh, boy. Touchdown, Red Tornadoes. Good blocking by the right side. Helped out by number one, Terry Meyer, and 47, Steve Sinkovich. I'll tell you what, they're working. You talk about perfection. That play is working very well right now. Uh, the, your your two lead blockers are just picking up the cornerbacks and that outside linebacker very well open up that seam for Veach. Mike or uh, yeah, Mike Sinkovich in to attempt the extra point. Snaps back from Els to Paracella. It kicks up, and it's good. With 5:21 left in the first half, the score: the Red Tornadoes 28. The Braves 13. Now we got our first old fashioned shootout of the season right now here. <laughs> Neither defense can keep anybody out of the end zone. Now I know at halftime, you know, halftime is where you adjust a little bit to this passing game. Obviously, you need to see because they've adjusted before the half. They adjusted right. in the second quarter with how they use the quarterback and where he's at. We need to adjust a little bit into what pattern I think they're running and, and how they're, they're shielding somebody coming off the line of scrimmage. Well, and you got to watch it when they come on those slant passes. They're just, you, you got to cover that slant pass, Warren. You see, that's the hardest one to cover. Yep. You know yes, what I mean? It certainly that's, is. That's the, that's the most difficult pass to try to get your hand on. Mike Zinkovich will kick off a booming kick this time, taken by Purdy at about the 10 yard line. Hanging on his feet there is number 41, Mickey Moreau. Nope. Yeah, yeah, it is. Pick 41, Mickey Moreau's. Get the ball down about the 26-yard line, it looks like, from here. Moreau stays in on defense here, too, Warren. Yeah, well, I, I think we're giving Cuff, you know, a little bit of a rest. Obviously, he doesn't come into the game 100%. Uh, he doesn't show that he's favoring anything, but, I mean, there's no reason also to, to try to get him killed out there either. He's got a lot, lot more playing to do this season. So, And, you know, again, with Moreau's, you don't lose much. That's you know right. I mean? You're right. He played a whale of a game last week. And you had no fear of him whatsoever of, of you know. Whoa. Quick slant pass to number 84, the reception. Tackle made by Sebas and Matt Saylor with the reception. And you see now number 84 to tight end, you know. So he's using every ball as receivers quite well. They had him split out far enough, though, that he could just run that right. slant pattern, right? First down and 10 Braves from the 40-yard line. Bowman tries it up the middle to oh, Mangle, and that oh, one doesn't go anywhere. Jeff Evans, <laughs> Malakowski, and 58 Sinkovich. That time we, we almost looked like we knew the play. We shifted right. exactly into where the play was coming from, and we did it right at the last second, so they couldn't adjust the blocking in time. No gain on the play, second, and ten. second down, 10 yards to go. The ball on the 40-yard line, 431 left in the first half. Looks to the right side this time. Terry Meyer with the tackle will be short of a first down. Nice tackle by Meyer that time to hold him below the first down. I don't know where they're going to place the. I, mean, I was going to if they placed the ball the first spot, he was going to get the first down. Now he's going to be just a couple of inches short though. He's right on top of a first down right here. Less than a yard to go for it. Third down and inches. Now the question here is, do you run it? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? They've not had a lot of success running the ball whatsoever. Well, me, I might go for that slant pass they, anyway. They bring the big tight end in, Gary Oren. His number's 88. He's uh, 6'1", 279. He's on the left side of the formation right now. Going to go to that left side. Lots of room for a first down at the 45-yard line. On the I'll tell you what, just by watching uh, 88 come into the game, I know he wasn't going to run into the pattern anywhere. And he looks like <laughs> he's, like he's wrapped. He's limping yeah. pretty good to begin with, so he's hobbled well, to start off with here. He has a, a pretty good wrap on that ankle. So you know he's not going to be in the pattern much tonight. He's actually listed as their starting tight end. Is he? Yeah. So Yeah, he, then he's definitely hurt because you can right. see by the way he was moving on the field there that he wasn't 100%. 3.15 and winding down in the first half, Bowman. Looks deep to Bartosik, has him! Touchdown, Braves! You know, that was a great play. They put him one-on-one, -on -one. they isolated him one-on-one -on -one with the strong safety. They ran a slant on the cornerback and brought him out that the strong safety had to pick him up. Good for a touchdown. Yeah, they, what they did, they cleared the zone there. They, they, he was out there with another uh, split receiver and the split receiver ran straight down the middle and cleared the zone and what Bartosik did is he went down about 10 yards and broke to the outside and if you watch Bowman Bowman fakes the throw to the to the flat and Bartosik turned it upfield and that's where the strike was uh, I'll tell you the first thing you're going to do is when you get in halftime you're going to tell the defensive back that whatever guy's carrying uh, covering 11 he stays with them till the play's over you right. can't let that kid go that's what happened you can't turn your head and let him go. You gotta stay right with that kid the whole the whole time the play's in motion. And they're gonna go for two here because they missed the kick last time. Bowman looks in the corner of the end zone to Bartosik. Out of bounds. It, that, you know what? They, well, the reason it wasn't interference was it was out of bounds. Yeah. It was not catchable at all. Yeah. 306 left in the first half. The score of the Red Tornadoes, 28. The Braves 19 in the first 19 points that have been that's put the most up against the Red ever. Tornadoes, right? Most amount of points so far this season are on, on Big Red, and they are truly been rocked on their heels defensively by this combination of uh, uh, Bartosik and, and Bowman. It really has. I'll tell you and what, a couple I, of other I, I'm players. impressed. I, you know, I, to watch that pattern, the way those two ran it, you know, up here we can see the whole field, and, that, and that's the advantage that we have. But when you look at Bowman fake the throw to the flat, I mean, that, that was perfect. And then uh, Bartosik just turned it up and, and took it downfield. Boy, and you're, you're not going to get the quarterback on that quick nope. of a drop back. There's just no way. The, on that three-step drop back that you will get to the quarterback, Wayne. And you see that, and you have to give credit to their coaching staff. They they had to change that. He's they kicking. had to get away from the rollout. and He's kicking and to the, the corner. Yeah, again. Purdy yeah. with the little angle kick taken by Terry Meyer on the 29-yard line. Cuts it back to the middle of the field, and Terry Meyer's got a burst of speed. I thought he was going <laughs> to Close to the 48. There. I know, so did I. <laughs> Uh, I think Mount Carmel area is thinking to themselves, you know, let's try to get in here at halftime and get everybody back on the same page defensively because they've really chewed us apart right now defensively. And that's, you know, that's not, not something this defense is used to having no. happen to them. 2.30 and winding down in the first half, second down, seven yards to go. Sebas keeps the ball. Has his blocker out in front of him. Good play made by 33 that time, yep. which was Mangle. I don't know where he came. Linebacker, yeah. did he come yeah, from? Yeah, he did, and he saved the touchdown. Yes, he did. And, yeah. and that was a diving catch yep. at Sebus's ankles. Yep. He, had he not done it, that was a touchdown. Because he had, he had uh, Sudkovich had pulled around the corner and was completely demolishing his guy on the outside. And Sebus would have had to just cut up, up the field inside and it would have been 157 touchdown. winding down, third down, one yard to go. Pitch back, tries going outside to Veach, and he nice. makes one great move, another move, and down to about the 35-yard line. Flag 145 left on the clock and a flag on the play. That'll be coming back, because that's right right where the right bad the flags end up at. <laughs> there are bad flags like that. Holding call against the Red Tornadoes. Yeah, when you get one landing right there, you know you're in serious trouble. Well, Big Red now, I think, with a minute 45, and now a big penalty. It's going to bring up a third down and 11 now coming up instead of uh, third down one. And they bring Smith into the ball game with the play. And I think we're going to see a pass here. 
That's a good call. And a guy I am. I'm not as scared. I got a feel about a draw play here, guys. Now it's going to bring up a third down and eight, it looks like, to go here for Big Red. Steve Sinkovich? Yeah, Sinkovich goes in at the tight end spot. They put Bailey in motion, fake to Bailey, big rush by a couple people, and 66 finishes them off, which is Wyson. That play wasn't ready to work from the beginning, though, because nobody was real sure where to line up here on the left side, Wayne. Well, it, it seemed like we put power to the left side, and Sevis was running back to the weak side. So consequently, they just released their defensive end or their cornerback from that side. Red Tornadoes called timeout, and with 113 left on the clock, you would think a punting situation here, oh, Warren. It definitely is a punting situation. I guarantee you that. I think what he wants to do is make sure he's got enough guys in the field, everybody's in the right spot, everybody knows what they're doing, because if you give them field position here, they got yeah. enough time to put some more points Where on them on the board. The game ball is Tracy Border of Northumberland. Tracy Border. Yeah, this is this is the kind of half where we're actually we're the ones that want to get in there <laughs> and get things a little more straightened out. Uh, Shikalimi is hoping for as much time left as they can here and maybe get maybe get another quick strike. And you'll see him throw the ball, I'm sure, oh, yeah. on every down. And when he gets the ball back here with, with a minute 13 remaining in the half. Number 47, Steve Sinkovich will be in punt formation. Number one, Terry Meyer with the long snap. Is that Bartosic deep, guys, for yes, the Braves? Yes, it is, number okay. 11. Snaps back. Sinkovich. End over end kick could be fielded by Bartosic. Should he lets been. it bounce. It should have been he fielded. Have that up. Should have been fielded and will be downed on about the 16 yard line. Now First down and 10, Braves. You don't want to let it bounce behind you like mm -hmm. that. That was not the play to make there. And he had a good chance to pick it up on the first bounce. And you put the ball, that puts the ball down at the, uh, what, 20, I'm sorry, he's inside 16. the, yeah, 16 or 17 yard yeah. line. And now the Braves with only a minute three left. <laughs> Chuck Souter just said in the back, he didn't want to pick the ball up, he just wanted to add it to the receiving stats. <laughs> the further back he was, the more he could get. Twins right here for the Braves. Bowman tries the long count out of the twin backfield and 47 Sinkovich in on the tackle. Timeout called by the Braves. Why do you why do you run that play and then call I timeout? I don't what, know. What's the, what's the point of that? I mean, send the kid back and have him throw the ball for crying yeah. out loud. I would really I really question the wisdom of, of that particular play there. Yeah, as soon as he handed off, he was back in the in the referee's face saying timeout. You know, and now he, he loses a yard, so now <laughs> he's actually an officer he gained about a half a yard, so now he's lo still looking at a second down and ten to go. Of course with this amount of time on the clock, you don't really care how much yours is for your first down. You gotta start putting it down the field a little bit. That halftime line Mountain South Williamsport score, 20, uh, 20 to 7, you'll know what the score is, but again, a passing team. They've yeah. become uh, with Wenrick at quarterback for yep. line Mountain. And now that's, uh, that's a crucial game for us, folks, because who wins that game and whether we win the remaining three, including this one tonight, will we'll go as probably is the determining factor in who's going to have the District oh, 1, District home, 4 number home, one home seed. Field. Right. Well, home field advantage. Yeah, home well, field advantage from the number one yeah. seed. Right. So that's that's a really important game as we as we watch that tonight. Bowman looks to the left side of the field. Hits number 21 with the reception, Mike Moyer. And right now, Bowman's having a field day, just letting those short drop back passes go. Well, see, that time we tried to cover with the end, though. You see what we did there? Yeah. We dropped the end off in the coverage that time. And that's a little bit of a mismatch that time when the end has to cover. And that was the weak side. That wasn't the strong right. side that right. they were. Right, exactly. They're... That's, a, again, a nice offensive scheme going Quick there. Quick drop. Looks at Bartosic. Catches it at about the 34-yard line. First down, Braves. What a receiver, huh, guys? Receiver and a, and a passer. I mean, you have to give uh, Bowman, Bowman all, the all the credit in the world. 42 seconds in the first half. Bowman downs the ball. Good play that time. Good call that time. Get yourself straightened out and set up. To do what you need to do. The ball line of scrimmage is Mount Carmel area's 30... Three? 33 yard line, I'd say, yeah. yeah. And then 34, 33. 39 seconds remaining uh, in the half. It's still second down, so he got two good shots here to get it into the end zone before the end of the half. 
The way he throws a quick pass, yeah. he has four shots. <laughs> Doesn't he, guys? Pretty much, right? Yeah. <laughs> he is deadly tonight. Bowman looks to the left. Incomplete and flags on the play. And the flag was thrown at the middle of the field. I have no clue what that one was. That wasn't near where the ball was thrown. It would have to be, oh, it's an interference call. It was in the middle of the field. It has to be a holding. Right, we're he, watching. He signaled that wrong. That's a, that's a holding call. We're watching where the ball went, and he didn't even call it. No, there. it he wasn't over it there. Away from the ball, right. where nobody was paying attention, so I didn't see who was involved in it. But again, another big chunk of yardage pick up for the Braves, and now they got the ball on the 18-yard line of Mount Carmel area. They're threatening with 35 seconds remaining here in the first half. Bowman, that quick drop again. Now he has to roll. Gets a pass away to Bartosik and incomplete. Good coverage by number two, Nick Chesney. Actually, it was probably good he dropped that, that ball. Because oh, the clock would have kept running, yeah, right? Probably good, probably good that he left it good by him because now he stops the clock with 30 seconds and you can set up another play. Is He's the cowboy so hat in your way? No, the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let him move over a little more. Why would you him. hog that let spot? Him, let him get taller. <laughs> Second down, 10 yards to go. 30 seconds left on the clock. Bowman, screen pass. Gets it to Mangle. Lots of blockers. Touchdown, Braves. What a great call. What a great call. Yep, absolutely. The, offensively, they are calling one of the best football games we may have witnessed. Braves are now down 28-25. They will probably go for two, I would think, although they're, they look like they're, no, they're going to go for one. I, I was surprised. They're going to go for one here with 22 seconds remaining in the half, and Mount Carmel area has truly been rocked here in the first half of this football game with more more points put up against them here than they have the entire season. season. Yep. Oh, high snap, ball bounces back, and the kick and extra point will be no good. With 22 seconds left in the first half, the score, the Red Tornadoes 28, the Braves 25, but you can see how fast they can put points on the board, guys. Uh, Big Red, I mean, Big Red's got to tighten. De defensively, they got to tighten up a little bit. They really do. They're getting picked apart right now. You're, you're not, it's not, a, now I, I said to you the key is pressure. And what Shikalimi's done is taking that key away from us. Right. Because you can't pressure him on that short of a drop. But by the same time, that short of a drop makes it that his receivers can't be getting open and running full routes either. So you gotta, you're, you're getting a little bit one way and giving up a little the other. We're just not covering them well enough right yeah, we're now not playing to stop them. Enough. You're right. 31, Purdy will kick off, and I'm sure this is an onsider. There it is. It went backwards, though. That's the only problem that happened. It went backwards. That'll be a, but he tried. Yeah, that's Mount Carmel will we'll take the ball over there where, where it was down. Right on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really move but, much. But on you know that. what? Not a real smart one. You would think they you want to get it down at least 20 or 30 yards to not give the Red Tornadoes one good pass at this right here. Now, 22 seconds left. Uh, again, Mount Carmel area takes the ball over now at, at the Brave 40. And they're up, believe it or not, 28-25 here in this first half of football, in the probably the most exciting first half of football of the year so far for the Tornadoes. Red Tornadoes out of the shotgun formation. Snaps back. Sebas with lots of time. Looks over the middle. Intercepted by number, no, incomplete. Incomplete. Almost intercepted by number 84, Matt Saylor. He was right there. Of course, the ball was intended for Van Doren, but he was covered very well. Second down, big red. Now 16 seconds remain in the first half. And folks, these first these first half stats are going to be bad, ugly, and uh, oh, yeah. on the defensive yeah, side of the ball for both of these teams. <laughs> They're not going to be pretty to read when we get these babies. A lot of running yards for the Red Tornadoes, a lot of passing yards for the Braves. <clears throat> Out of the shotgun again. Back to Sebas. It's a draw. Find some running room. Still on his feet. He might go. He's to the he 10. Did. He turns the burner. Oh, he's at the four-yard line. line with five seconds left on the clock. And a timeout called. Or can we? Do we have a timeout or not? Yeah, we do. Yes, we timeout do. called by the Red Tornadoes. 
I'll tell you why. It, it's just amazing to see what Sebus can do with that speed. Def these defensive players, I swear, have not seen anybody this fast yet because they're not even getting a hand or an arm on him as he's going by. Now, one, one play now, folks. There's one play before the half. Malcolm Larry sits on the Brave just outside the five-yard line. They're calling it, the, in fact, even the scoreboard is calling it on the five-yard line. So chance for one play, and we'll see what uh, Coach Williams comes up with here. Well, you know to, what? To end this. And <laughs> Momentum goes either way here. Oh, no matter oh, yeah. what happens right here, it's either in favor of the Red Tornadoes or, I mean, a big momentum switch. Uh, you oh, know, yeah. If that play yeah. had ended back on the 40-yard line, it, there's yeah. no big mo Now, this right. one has a big momentum shift right here. Yeah, I agree with you there. But putting it in the end zone would really, yeah, I'll tell you what, it would be just a, the, uh, the absolute cap to a <laughs> first half we haven't seen in many, many years. This game could go till midnight. You know that. <laughs> Twins right, one back. Also a slot back, Veach goes in motion. Sebas rolls to that side. He can run it in if he wants to. Incomplete and the momentum shift goes to the Braves. That's the end of the first half. The score, the Red Tornadoes 28, the Braves 25. We'll be back with those big halftime stats in one moment. Seven and Bailey one for two. Uh, in the receiving, we have Paracella one for 27, and Van Doren one for eight yards, and eight first downs for the Tornadoes. On the other side, for Shikalimi in the rushing department, six for 27 yards. In the passing department, uh, 12 of 22 for 266 yards in the first half. Uh, first downs for Shikalimi is 14. Well, I mean, that's you can't you can't really talk a lot about that. This kid has passed for more passing yardage in the first half that we may have ever seen uh, a team right. throw against Mount Carmel area, and he's done it against what we felt was the toughest defense we may have ever seen here. He has, I understand, 299 would, would be the, uh, the record, most yards. Right, the most yards was in 1989 uh, from Panther. As they open up the second half. They're going to walk away with the defeat tonight. Right. Shikalimi is absolutely everything we told you they were going to be offensively. Now, defend, and what's odd about the game is that defensively, they're everything we also said they would be would be not too potent. Brown Carmel area is sitting in a game where it's averaging more than 10 yards of play, right. folks. More than 10 yards every time they touch the ball, and they're only up three points in a tight 28-25 ball game. So, well, really know, an unusual game for us. Right, they're, they're carrying two. They have about 290 yards total. I'll tell you offense. what, guys. We Purdy, have, excuse me, but right. Purdy's looking to the left, guys. He is looking over to that. To, to, he's going to kick to the left side again. He's going deep this time. Okay. Yeah. He just looked there to fake it out. Moroz gets the ball on the 29-yard line, hangs on to it, and is tackled at about the 34. First down and 10, Red Tornado. Sorry, Wayne, I was just watching no, the way he was looking there. No, we were, uh, you know, you look at those stats, and, and for a whole game, you're looking at total offense of only maybe 600 yards. Here in the first half, both of these teams combined have almost 600 yards. So yes. there's some offense. And, and what's so nice about it is you have Mount Carmel, the running uh, up and down the field, and you have Shikalimi passing the ball all over the place. Another good fan game, as you'd call it, right? Definitely. Out of the eye to Veach. Tries off the right side and is hit by 77 on the tackle, Josh Manning. I think Jonathan thought there was a hole there, but then he cut back outside. Well, the one, the one thing that, that Chick, I mean, when they left the field, their fans were absolutely oh, rabid okay. over here cheering them on, and well, they should. Again, we do not look like we have the same enthusiasm here as they have, and in a game like this, if we don't have, we better get it very soon because they're going to run us out of, this, out of this ballpark pretty soon if we don't stop them. Second down, about seven yards to go. Veach, up the middle. Good hole and close to a first down at about the 44-yard line. Well, 44 would be a first down, yeah, so I think back. it's at the 43, yeah. right? We're, we're about a half a inches about short. About half a foot short. Yeah, you're about a, about that, was a, that was a real tough spot on that yeah. one, though. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I had it at the 44. My goodness. Third and less than one. Third one from the Mount Carmel, 43. 
quarterback sneak. Seba's behind else. Flag. Flags on the play. I don't know where that's, where that's going to be called at because he came from the back, the defensive back judge there. So I don't know what they're going to call here. <coughs> Holding call against the red. Wow. I don't know where that came from on a quarterback sneak. I don't know who's holding who there. But a big holding call. And now Mal Carmelari is faced with a third and nine. I say about yeah, nine and a little less than nine probably. So not the way they wanted to start this second half. And again, not offensively, they have not been shabby. In fact, they've been right. outstanding. Right. <laughs> they really have. Yeah, 28 points in the first half cannot be shabby. Sebas on the draw play to Veach. Nice call. Find Great some running call. room. First down. Good call by the Red Tornadoes. Some excellent blocking in the line to open up a hole for, for Veach. Uh, when I did go down to Jose, and, and, and maybe it's because I've been absent for the last two weeks, but uh, I said that the, the blocking has been like, very crisp on, on, the, uh, on the line, but Veach is running with, with some intensity mm -hmm. and, and uh, maybe not seeing it as much in the first half or maybe being away or in the first half of the season, but being away maybe for two weeks. But he just, uh, he looks good out there again tonight. Split backs. Oh, a busted play. Veach gets the ball, and he's still going to get five yards and, and more. He's out to the outside. Down the right side to about the 20, 31-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Van Doren came in motion. I don't well, think he ran right yeah, in. I don't think Sebas knew right. he, was, he was in motion. And he turned it right into him and still handed the ball off. And because it got bungled and slowed up, Veach went outside where the play was supposed to go the complete opposite direction. He picks up big yardage, and he's having, he's well over yeah. 100 yards himself right now, having a fantastic game again you know, on the ground right now. So, I mean, offensively, everything, we can't even make a mistake offensively right now, and, and, and we still get some yardage out of it. Veach goes in motion to give the Bailey. Off the right side, gain of about five yards to the 25-yard line. One good thing here, eat some time off the clock, too, and keep it out of Bowman's yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that you say that, but I'll tell you what, that's a real strategy right now. That's right. Keep the ball on the ground, pound some yardage out, and take as much time off the clock as you can so he doesn't have it in his hands for any length of time this half. But the thing you have to do is you have to drive it down. Twenty-eight, twenty-five, to Veach. Takes it outside, and a good play that time by number 31, Purdy. He came up, and uh, he's lined up as an outside linebacker out there. Just stayed and held his ground. Third down, four yards to go. Big play here to start the third period. And, of course, we, we're hearing the score now, but it, to, to us it's an intensity level even rising a little higher as we hear the line mountain demolishing south williamsport tonight as we're watching this game so pitch to veach had to cut it back because just i'll tell you what there were four guys out to the right side here it just right. they, it was like they knew he was coming wayne well you know like we said you know you start looking at some films you see some setups that we've run uh, uh all season long and even last year and uh, you can at times pick the play and, and adjust to it. Now the ball's on the, on the 25, so obviously on fourth down, Mount Carmelary will attempt to go for it. Uh, fourth and four, deep in, in Chickalimby Brave territory, the ball's sitting actually about the 24-yard line of the Braves. Out of the I formation, 741 left in the third quarter. Sebas rolls, big rush. Now he's going to run with the ball. No, no, he will not get a first down. He'll miss it by about six inches, guys. They closed really fast they that closed, time. And, and I can't see who it was. I think it was 31, 31, Sean Purdy. Wow. Now, I couldn't see downfield if everybody I was watching Sebas carrying the ball, and I didn't see if everybody was covered downfield or not. Double momentum shift again right at the end of the first half, and now again at the 725 yep. mark. And here comes the throwers out, guys. 84 will be split far right, Matt Saylor. Mangle will be the only back. No, they have split backs right now. Looks like he looks like he changed it on the line of scrimmage. It's a Boyer keeping it. Bowman keeping it. 
Lots of running room and gains about nine yards. And right flag now, down. flag went down. That should be in a holding area, right, Warren? I'm not sure because it went down pretty far downfield compared to where he took right. off from. But it's, I would almost think it's offensive unless they grabbed his face mask. A clip against the Braves. Clipping against the Braves. Well, two big penalties now, one on each side of the ball to start the, the third period, and that's going to cripple the Braves a little bit. Again, you know, as Bob said, it, that's a, that's that looked like he audible off there on, he did. on the oh, yeah, he, 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 took, he wanted that one himself. They saw something, I think, yeah, in the first half that they want to let him carry the ball himself. That's a painful penalty for the Braves, though, now as they come up with a first and 14. Oh, threw the ball behind number two, Bittner. And that, that was uh, Malakowski that did yeah, that. He, just he had his that. hands up, so there was nowhere to throw the lane that he won that. So he, he threw in a lane to the other side, and he was, he was behind his receiver. Well, he, that, the ball was hit on the line of scrimmage. Second down, still 14 yards to go. Bowman sets the Braves out of the eye formation. Quick drop back, big rush. Bartos again and out of his hands, and that would have been a first down. There's a, there's a case where he, oh. he just started to run a little bit before he had the ball. That's all he did that time, folks. He got a little bit ahead of himself and didn't watch the ball into the breadbasket. So a, a crucial drop, though, by Bartosik, and he's had such a, a fabulous game up to this point. So. I think we're gonna. I think you're gonna forgive him that little drop there. I don't know how Bowman got that off because if you're looking at that number 80, uh, Chris Cuff and, and number 60, Malakowski were up in the air and, and blocked his view the whole time. In fact, the first time he tried to throw, uh, Malakowski was up in front of him. But he waited till they came back down, yep. Wayne. Bowman straight back, keeps the ball to the left side and he'll be tackled and it'll be fourth down for the Braves and a punting situation. Nice stop made by Malakowski. Actually, that people are going to look at that call and say why, but that was a good safe call. It really yeah. was. I mean, don't don't risk an interception and change everything around. They were they were fourth and 14 to begin with. They're on their own 15. So I'm I'm not going to argue too much with that call. Now they're going to get a shot at punting it out. Now the key here is is the punter because he, he, he hasn't, hasn't exactly been deadly in the first half. He needs to get himself a punt off here. Snaps back to White, and he Ooh, does. Yeah. Good kick this time, taken by Sebas on about the 45-yard line. Takes it outside, gets lane. two good blocks, finds a lane, still on his feet, and a Flag. clip. You're going to have a clip called yep. here against the Red Tornadoes. Well, I'll tell you what, they set up a beautiful lane. There was some nice blocking all the way down in front of the Shikolimi bench. Clip against the Red Tornadoes. Now, penalties are beginning to play a part here in this game where they were almost non-existent in the first half. Three big penalties here to begin the third period here, and you've only gone, well, you got six minutes and 22 seconds. Actually, this period's going faster right. than, than, uh, than uh, we had hoped it probably <laughs> would in the first half. First half, I think, went on for about six hours. This one's going by in a blink of an eye. Well, it still puts the ball on the 40-yard line in Shikolimi territory for the Red Tornado. So, still a good run back, guys. It, hurt, it hurts when the clipping penalty happens back on your well, own 45. Shikolimi was calling for one back there. Right. Out of split backs. Pitch back to Veach. Tries to take it outside. Gets a great block from Sinkovic. And still. Still on his feet for about a six-yard gain. And again, this is exactly what Big Red's trying to do now. They want to grind this clock. They want to grind yardage out. They want this third period to disappear. They want to go into the fourth period, get a score up on the board, and try to breathe a little bit because <laughs> this Schick team just isn't going to give up. There's, you know there's no stopping this group tonight. I don't think there's breathing room until that clock goes to zero, yeah, think, zero, zero that, in the and that's fourth not quarter. A, it's not a breathing. It's a sigh. It's a sigh room, right. <laughs> it's okay. going to be a sigh of relief when we, when we close this game if we win this thing. Second down, five yards to go. Van Duren and Paracella split left. Veach, try him off the right no, side and stop the play flags there. on the play. Flag. And this, this, if this is against us, now you've got to be a little concerned here. It is. I mean, penalties, we were penalty free for the most part. They weren't a big problem. 
but you cannot afford penalties here in a tight game, and, and these, that was a dumb penalty there. Illegal procedure called against the Red Tornado. And we just got caught leaning a little bit, I think, over here in the, in the uh, Twins formation, and it's split on the left-hand side. And it was the far line judge yeah, that called it, Wayne. Yeah. Brings so up, he just saw a head pop in there or something. Yeah. Brings up second and 10 now for Big Red. Beach goes in motion. Sebas keeps it on that up the middle draw, and that time they saw it. Still gained about five or six yards, though, and if you can gain five or six yards, you're not, you're, you're not going backwards. It's a good play, right? Now, he absolutely picked up, but he picked up a little longer than five yards. Yes, he did. Through. So he got himself a third and third and a little less than five to go. Ball's on the 36-yard line, 545 left in the third quarter. Big third down play for the Red Tornadoes. Sebas, back to pass. Lots of time. Looks at Paracella, hits him in the flat. First down, Red Tornadoes, and that's a good play, guys. Yes, it is, and a nice pass that time. Nice nice pattern. He curled exactly where you wanted him to. Nice play. Paracella on the reception. First down, not Carmel. Tackle on the play by Bittner. Ball's on about the uh, 23. When yes. we say that yep. questionably, yes. <laughs> when we say that questionably, we're not at a real good angle yeah, to no, see it. Ball, ball is on a 23-yard line. 5-11 left in the third quarter. Sebas. Split backs. Gives a beach. Good running room nice. off the left side. On his feet, and he'll be in for the touchdown. Red Tornadoes. 25, John Veach. Nice play that time. And again, Veach is running like, yeah, like a terror right now. He's well in, into the into the 100 yard, 150 yards now, maybe 160 or 70 even now, as as we get uh, at the 4:57 mark and goes in for the touchdown. And again, you know the thing here is that we're we're on the ground pushing these things in and and, and you know choking up six seven minutes and they're going to come out here and they they, they score they think in in four minutes, <laughs> <laughs> they, all three of them. So, <laughs> Sinkovic back the kick, snaps back, the kicks up. And it's good with 4.57 left on the clock in the third quarter. The score, Red Tornadoes 35, the Braves 25. And what's interesting there, folks, is that that the extra point became crucial. The Braves have missed three extra point attempts in this football game. The, the touchdown makes it a 10-point bulge now for them. And that's, that's going to change their thinking a little bit offensively and also makes it a little more difficult for them to, 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 to win this football game. So the extra points are beginning to play a little bit of, of, of a, a factor here as we, as we wind down the third quarter. And it is winding down. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Zinkovic will kick off for the Red Tornadoes. Main receiver back there has been Sean Purdy for the uh, Braves on these kickoffs. And we're doing, notice, notice what we're doing here. We're all still in a huddle here. And that's not usual for us. <laughs> there we go. I think they'll kick deep. With the speed we have going down the field, I yeah. think they get it down as deep as they can. Big, booming Ooh. kick by Sinkovic. And 25 gets the ball, and he's down on the 19-yard line. First down and 10 red tornadoes after the reception by Gombert. Yeah, he kind of bobbled a little bit there, and when he, when he bobbled it, he dropped to his knee, and that was the end of the play. So, again, Mount Carmel gets a little bit lucky. Uh, the Braves will take over on their own 20-yard line here and begin offense from that point. And, Wayne, from a kicking standpoint, for how high Mike Sinkovich got that, there wasn't going to be much of a run back anyway. No, and, and that's the, the big key on, on Mike's part this year is everything is high and deep and uh, giving the uh, coverage much time to get down there. Quick pass from Bartosik to or Bowman to Bartosik, first down. That was a nifty little play. They hit him right on the line of scrimmage, right. and he just ran for the first down. Yeah, he's just he's just a heck of an athlete. There's not a whole lot you can do about him. Between Bowman and Bartosik, I mean, uh, you're hoping you contain them enough to win the game. Now, a couple other players have played some major parts offensively right. here for the Braves, but you still got to focus on those two guys if you're going to win. Hey, does it again to the other side. Bartosik still on his feet, and Chesney and Meyer have to bring him down. First down out at the 45-yard line. 
428 left on the clock. And, and I'll tell you what, the coaching staff looks at, at our defensive backs and sees how far back we're playing. And, and they're just giving Bartosik, you know, one step off the line. He's looking for the ball already. Well, what they want to do is bring us up a little closer, right. and then they're going to go to that slant or deep. down the or deep, Wayne. Bowman, incomplete. That one was caused by our defense of defensive line, guys. Second down, 10 yards to go. 4-11 left in the third quarter. Second and 10 in the race, 45. You know, you're doing all the right things out here. You, you're, you're, you're rushing, you got your hands up, you're doing everything you can here. And again, when you got it all working there, you see that even a good quarterback struggles a little bit. And that time, without a lane, he doesn't pass right. that well. Right. So you've got to take that lane off of him if you're gonna if you're gonna stop him. Oh. Blitz that time, and uh. it's going to be a face mask against the Red Tornadoes. See, I don't think he touched his face mask. To tell you the truth. I don't think he touched don't his don't face so mask. Either. I think he touched his shoulder pads that time. Well, you know what? He's not getting up off the field real quick, Warren. I still don't think he touched his face mask. I think that was after after the play. I yeah, I don't know what happened to him that. there, but I don't think he got face nope. masked on that play. I think he got hit after. I don't yeah, think this came was. because he did step up and oh, go yeah, to he, throw, right? He wasn't hurt then. It's he got when he stepped up into the next hit is where he got hurt. And they're going to assess a big one here. And I, I just I don't think it, don't think it's right there. I don't think he will, he touched his face mask. And and what he was looking at, he was looking at the uh, Bowman's head movement when Sin, uh, Mike Sinkovich ran by him, and all that was is was from the the shoulder pads coming back against the helmet and moving his head. Well, it looks like Mike made a grab for the shoulder pads. Oh, he did. That, yeah, he did. Right, I mean, right. Oh, yeah. I just don't think he got the face mask. I really don't. I think he missed that part of it. Second down, one yard to go. Four minutes left on the clock in the third quarter. Of course, once again, it doesn't matter what I think. So, <laughs> Mike Moyer takes over at quarterback. He's going to throw. Oh my goodness. Incomplete. <laughs> uh, hey, that's a that, good play if you get, you know. Well, yeah, but I. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bowman's going to come back right into the football game again. He wasn't hurt but I, that I, badly. I'll tell you what, I think he's, I, he is hurting. His side is, I, he must have taken a shot on the side there after Mike ran. Yeah, I, him. see, everybody watched it, him, him in the flag turn, and nobody watched him get hit. But he walked, when he stepped up through that, he stepped right into yeah. a hit. And I think that's where it really got injured him. And it'd be interesting to see now, I mean, he, the way he's playing, he's a tough kid. And I get the feeling that even, even a hurt one is still going to be dangerous out here tonight. See what they do to go for the, oh, big play, number one, Meyer. Terry Meyer, <laughs> 54, Jeff Evans, and 58, Mike Sinkovich. And I think Malakoski's down there, too. Yes, he is, Jason Malakoski. Say what, Manga looked up and the moose was there. <laughs> he took a moose head on, and that was the end of him. And, and Mangle's shaking up a little bit on that play, too. He see, took an absolute whack in the hole. See, when, when Bowman was out, that there's a play right there. It was third, third and one. Get, get the and first get down. Get the first down. Why did they have the quarterback throw a deep ball like that, pick up the first down? All it is a single handoff. Interesting well, call here yep, yes it is. for the Braves. They're going with the quarterback sneak, and they don't, oh, maybe they did on second effort. Terry Meyer has the ball, so how will they ever place it? Oh, he's Terry Meyer has the ball, and they blew the whistle. Boy, that was a quick whistle. First down, Braves. How is there a, how is there a ball, is there a ball on no. the ground there? No. No. Wow. That was an amazing call, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, that, that's a questionable call there. That's the first really questionable call at a football game other than that face masking, which we're still wondering about a little bit. But this one here, I wonder about this placement. <laughs> More than that one. Terry Meyer saying, I had the ball, ref. Bowman. Oh, big play in 71, Dan Dalkus. They didn't let that one get no. over him. But it is amazing, Warren, how only three seconds goes off the clock for right. their plays. Right, right. They're they're real efficient that way. They stretch they stretch a game for every ounce that it has in it. <laughs> I, I I commented to you just as you know how long ago about the six minute mark, and since that time there's still two minutes and 44 seconds left in the third period. So the game has slowed considerably as they go on offense all the time. <laughs> Bowman rolls, big rush. Gets the hit away and still catches the ball 
Bartosi catches the ball after Bowman's nailed by Sinkovic. What can you say, guys? I know, well, Bowman's walking a little gingerly out there. I'll tell you what, Mike Sinkovic really put a hit on him big time. Bowman never even saw him coming. That's a, that was a first down, wasn't it? No, well, they well, haven't marked. They haven't. But well, they're going to have to do something. They haven't they moved, moved the, uh, the moving chains moving. or anything yet. <laughs> and I don't think they even believe the mark a little no, bit here. No, no. Bowman, back to pass. They put the blitz on. It's a scream. Oh, intercepted. 71, Dan Dalkus. He's still on his feet. And he wasn't out of bounds, and the shit coaches called it. <laughs> Touchdown, Red Tornadoes, but it's coming back. I don't know what he did there. I, I'll be truthful. Absolutely. He tiptoed. He didn't. He did not go out of bounds where they're marking the yeah. ball. Now they threw, and they a, threw flag. a flag, too. For what? Uh, it's going to go against us. Unsportsmanlike yeah. conduct. That's what it's going to be. But go back to the play again. That was truly the first time Bowman, I don't know how he didn't see him. And I don't know where he was throwing because he wasn't no. throwing it to a receiver that was close. There was nobody there. Now, I, I've got to no wonder, you know, you got to wonder if Bowman is hurt. And that's the, that's the first sign that he's struggling a little bit because that was truly. Now, this the unsportsmanlike penalty play is going to be tacked on to the end of this play from the line that, where he went out at. Uh, it's still interception, still right. Mount Carmel area football, but a big penalty against Mount Carmel area here. But now Mount Carmel area looks like it's pretty fired up out there over this penalty thing. And again, still just a, a somewhat, you know, makes you wonder exactly what Bowman was doing when he threw that. I mean, it was a screen pass, and we, we had smelled it right from the beginning, and there were four or five white shirts standing there, and he threw it right. I mean, yeah, he just threw it right out. No, but he did a good job of catching it. Yes, he did. <laughs> Hand the ball off to Veach, try him up the middle, gain of about five yards. Brings it up to about the 43-yard line. Two minutes left in the third quarter. Now we'll go back to this grind-out kind of football, yeah. and that's what you want. I mean, if there's, if you're, if you're a big Red fan, you, you're, you enjoy that quick strike, you know, speed kind. And offensively, we've had a fabulous night. We have absolutely yes, we played did. fabulously offensively tonight. Smith comes in motion to the short side of the field. Pitch back to Veach. We're going to go to the wide side of the field. Veach cuts it back to the middle of the field and runs into one of his own players, and he'll be short of a first down. I'll tell you why. You know, it's, it's just a joy to watch Jonathan Veach run the ball. Uh, he's he's running with, with a lot of intensity, and, and what's really great is he's looking downfield as he's carrying that ball to find the open lane to cut back on. We just sent the Bruce brothers into the lineup here. <laughs> Meyer, Cuff, and Malakowski report into the offensive huddle as we look at a third down now and two yards to go, and it's, it's a long two yard. 53 seconds in the third period now. Going to go to Veach behind it. Good for a first down and more to about the 44-yard line. He stays in bounds, so the clock will keep running after they move the chain. Again, methodically, methodical offense on the, on the big red side of the football right now. Nothing fancy, not a lot of passes. Just, just as I said, pick up, try to pick up four or five yards every time you touch the ball. And again, in the first half, we average well over 10 yards every time right. we touch the ball, so that's not so hard to do, actually, when you think about it. Power formation to the left side this time, guys. Gives it to Veach, going to go outside, Ooh. and one guy, 33, made a great tackle, Mangle, and <laughs> he just had a great, great play there. He came over four blockers yeah, and made the tackle. Mangle's had, Mangle hasn't had much to talk about offensively, but he's had a great defensive football game for the Braves. He's really all over the place and, and has saved the touchdown in the first half with, with a nice tackle and that time penetrated the line and actually threw Beach back for, for a, a loss that you don't see very often. Well, that's the end of the third quarter. The score, the red tourney for midnight here. <laughs> I mean, I, actually, uh, I feel like a little bit of a little bit of a baby here because in, in the halftime when you guys were gone, Chuck Souders threw himself off a three-foot riser. Did he really? Yes, he did. 
<laughs> Probably the best hit of the first half was when, when Chuck went off the riser here under the under the floor in the press box. He, he looks okay. Well, I'll tell you what, he took a good hit and he bounced back up. I got to give him a lot of credit. He's not as old as he looks, apparently. That's what it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> Second down, 11 yards to go. Split backs for the Red Tornadoes. Going to give Sebas, well, they left oh. Sebas keep it, and great tackle made by 41 Greg Deal before it even got started. Third down and 14 yards to go. Second by Greg Deal. What are they doing with Deal? An outside linebacker? He's he's uh, new in this lineup right now, yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah and I'm not sure who he's in for. He's in for another guy in a blue shirt. There, he just called it. It's done. He's, he makes everything so hard, Wayne. I know he does. Well, he's playing up a right of tackle right now. That's where he's lined up. Save his screen. Screen over to Veach. Cuts it back. Oh, runs right into Mike Sinkovich. And it's about a, uh, wow. That, that one was going long, guys. You know it. That was that was a touchdown. Number 11. Bartosik's on, Bartosik on the field, ladies and gentlemen. He's hurt. Get back to the play. Had he not run into, into Sinkovich, he had a touchdown. Oh. Wow. That might have been one of the hardest hits Veach took tonight, too. <laughs> now, I think, do we have somebody, we have Veach to still down, I believe. I said, that could have been the hardest hit he took tonight. I think Veach is still down on the ground when he ran into Sinkovich. Uh, no, no, no two, two Schick players. Oh, two down. Schick players, yeah. okay. Bartos, I, I didn't see Bartosi get hurt, but he looks like the more serious of the two, the way he was it looks like the, rolling on the ground yeah, there. His knee, and looking at his knee. And you, you want to hope, I mean, I, and I don't care. No, here's Bartosi back here, guys. He's standing right back here, 11? number 11, yep. Oh, there he is, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, he's, this is a one and a something there. It could now. be that 41, it could be yeah. a 41, which is deal again. And I'll see, the guy in the middle of the field is cramping. You can tell what they're doing with his leg there. But this kid here that's closest to us, he probably we're probably looking at a knee problem there. You know, the way the way he was rolling yeah. a little bit there. So you hope the best for him. And again, when I say clinging to a 10-point lead, you have to watch this game to understand what I meant by it. <laughs> and, it's, uh, and there's 11 minutes left. Yes. <laughs> Steve Zinkovich in punt formation. Terry Meyer with the long snap. Snaps back. Good snap. Good punt. Caught by Bartosik on the 16-yard line. Finds a gap up the middle to about the 26. First down and 10, Shikalimi in on the tackle. Meyer and 26, Lentini. Well, I guess bombs away here, guys, huh? Well, certainly light up the sky, yeah, Bowman, sure. Bowman back in, but again, the, the question with Bowman is, is, yeah. is he 100% right now? Because he's had two, two problems in the last series of downs where he's shot. been hurt yeah. and it, when he threw the the interception on the on the uh, what was going to be a screenplay you had to wonder if he was hurting there just out in the flat close to a first down Lost but the it'll, ball, yeah he did he got it back though yeah 84 on the reception Matt Saylor and, and I'll tell you what, you have to give Bowman all the credit in the world. He, I think he's used just about every he receiver. Broke, he broke the record. He's over 300 yards past. Oh, definitely. And that's that's truly an astounding record to break, folks. But he's gone over 300 yards, and he's still got the Another major quarter. portion of the fourth oh, yeah. quarter to go yet here. So Second down, one yard to go. It's out in the flat here. And, and we're starting to give a little ground there. Good reception made by number two, Bittner, but a first down. Got to cover quick and tighter. You just yeah. have to cover them tighter. And it's not that they have more speed than we do. I don't no. understand why we're not coming no. up and playing them a little bit closer. That time, Bittner was open. He was too open for that type of pass. It should have been a guy closer to him. Play by Bailey. Bailey's in the lineup right now as a strong safety, guys. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's where he's lining up at okay. anyway. No. Yes. Yep, yes, he is. He is because yep, you got, yep. you got uh, Sinkovich on the other side playing deep linebacker. Bowman looked like he checked off on that one. Big rush from Mike Sinkovich. Looks out in the flat at 84, which is Sailor. But that was, he heard the footsteps that behind Sinkovich. him that time. That was yep. Mikey. Mikey uh, was running him down. And again, when he had to throw that, he was running that fast. Right. It's hard to throw when you're running that fast. When you're running for your life at the same time, I should say. Because <laughs> I don't think he wants to take another hit from Big 58 tonight if he can avoid it. 
And, and I think Veach is going to say the same thing. He'd prefer not to take any more hits there, too. <laughs> From 58. From 58. <laughs> Second down, 10 yards to go, 9.42 left in the ball game. Bowman, straight drop this time. Big rush from Meyer. Hits Sailor over the middle to the 35-yard line. Sebas with the tackle. What a pass. He, he yeah. stood in there. I'll tell you, he had Terry Meyer just bowling in on him, yep. and he stood in there and threw it, Wayne. Best quarterback we've seen all year. Absolutely Definitely. the best quarterback we've seen all year. And they just won't give up. They just will not get out of this football game. 35-25, 9-29 remaining in the football game. The Braves are driving in Mount Carmel area territory at the Mount Carmel area 35-yard line. Bartoski looks at, then he checks out in the flat. Oh, going for the ball oh, all the way was 28 uh, Bailey. Bailey and then 29 Paracella had him covered. So good, good job double coverage that I think, time. I think he went to the well a little too well, often yeah. on that particular pass you know, though too. You know what was really amazing was we had the double coverage on 21 which was uh, which was Moyer and single coverage on Bartosic. O'Brien replaces Evans now. Yeah, well, he came up with a cramp or something. You see yeah. him coming off there. Yeah. Uh, O'Brien. Now that's <laughs> the center is going to have a real culture shock there when he sees the size of O'Brien compared to the size <laughs> yeah. of Evans. <laughs> Moyer. Good blocking that time on our defensive line and caught by Bartosic for a nine-yard gain. He just, he just can't stop this combination right now. No matter where he throws it, Bartosic Back catches it. You just can't not. Now Evans comes back into, into the lineup, but it's just it's amazing. I don't think we, we could have ever imagined seeing this type of, of game, even knowing how good they how were good at was. this. I don't think we anticipated this kind of a football game. And you know, game. The de and the defensive line is putting so much pressure on him. He's on his bike. He's running for, right. for an open area every time. Third down, one yard to go. They go with the quarterback sneak, and it he was dropped close. the ball. He, there was a fumble there for openers. I don't know where they're going to mark this one at. Ball on the carry. <laughs> no, where he's standing, it's over the. Yeah, where he's standing, if they mark it there. Twenty-five yard line. No, that's not where he marked it though. Oh, did they bring it back? It came back. Yeah. yeah. Fourth down and in inches. And a player hurt. I think it looks like seventy-four down on the ground yeah, he, again. He's the guy with the, with the, the Braves, cramps, right? Yeah, so he's going to have to come off again and. 8.25 left in this ball game. And it has been a great ball game. Of course, the as, as there have been many between Chickalimi and oh, Mount yeah. Carmel. Yeah. Brings back the old days here of the Mount Carmel area, Chickalimi Sunbury series, and we've had some games we will remember forever. And this one, this one's gonna be seared into our memories no matter which way it turns out tonight, as the Braves have absolutely put on an aerial show unmatched in Mount Carmel area history. I mean, Correct. we haven't Correct. seen this happen to us before, so. It's not one you're going to forget for a long time, and, and it's not over, folks. That's, that's the problem. This thing's still got eight, eight minutes and 25 seconds to go. And, and the funny part about it is that uh, the yardage that they're putting up in the air, we're putting on the ground. I mean, we're just, it, it's, it's just a, a running team against a passing team. Chuck, and, Chuck Sauter just showed me 340, 45 yards passing. That's, that's incredible. Absolutely an incredible number to have a, in, in high school of any kind. And he's got it, but he's still got a, a good portion of the fourth quarter to throw. So you're watching every record you can imagine right now being broken by the uh, Bowman, Bartosik, and company combination. Fourth down and short yards to go. Big fourth down play here. And what do they pull out of their hip pocket here, guys? I know, but some of us are going to be late for work tomorrow morning at the rate that this game's going. <laughs> It's going to be a quarterback sneak. Oh, it looked like movement. He tries taking it outside. Ooh, and first down. Bowman on the carry. He's real close, but he's going to have it because he only had to get yeah. over the line. He took a shot from Paracella, though, right in the back. We nearly had him in the backfield. I didn't see who came sneaking through there, Warren, yeah. but somebody yeah. did. Bowman moving real slow. I think he, I, I think now he's also fighting a, a little bit of a cramp. You see him grabbing his toe there. Yeah, 7.45 left. Big rush, holding going to be called against the Braves. Yeah, that's, I mean, it absolutely has to be holding there. There's nothing else you can call. 
That'll drive the Braves back now a little bit. That was a first down play, so it'll remain right. first down. Now they, they've had a good drive here and they've marched a, a good amount of distance, but the difference in this drive and every other drive they've had is this one's taking an inordinate amount of time and they're bogged down again right at the same spot they were last time. So they need to get some uh, movement here once they get near the 30. That's where they seem to be hitting the wall right now. And this penalty's not going to help. First down and 20 now for the Braves. 7.39 remaining in the football game. 35-25, Red Tornado's in the lead. Bowman looks long. Hit 21 across the middle. Mike Moyer down to the 21-yard line. And I'll tell you what, this Bowman, Bowman kid just got himself a Division I scholarship if he wants it. He shows this film to any college in the world. He's Division I prospect right now. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm absolutely, and there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, this is a highlight film of all highlight yeah. films right now. Second and seven from the October He's, He is just in a zone right now that, that he hits everything he throws at. Seven minutes left on the clock. Oh, good play that time by Malakoski. Jason Malakoski knocked it down. We'll be seeing a third down and seven yards to go. Again, they're trying to go to Bartosik out to the out to the flat out there. You, you get him the ball very quickly and uh, look for uh, you know one on one and see if you can break away from the tackle. Right now, the big guys have got to get their hands up, don't they? And he wants a time. Uh, Bowman wants a timeout now, and I think that's a good place yeah. to call one right now to get themselves set up a little bit. I think I think for his sake he needs it. I think he's tired out there. I think he's. He, he's pretty much bruised up. I mean, he's, yeah. you have to admit, he, he is making the passes. But I think what's going to take the toll from here uh, for the next seven minutes is the uh, number of hits that he's taken after he throws the ball from right. Zukovic and Malakoski. Right, right. Well, I mean, folks, uh, <laughs> if you paid to get into this game, you got your money's worth and you owe, and you owe the district, the Chickalemi district some still. I'll tell you <laughs> what, because they didn't charge you enough to come into this game tonight. The Braves talk it over, and Coach Connolly talks over with the Red Tornadoes in their huddle. That's what you're watching That's right now on your screen. <coughs> Chink's in there going through everything he knows in that bag of tricks of his right now to, to stop this deadly combination and walk off this field with a win. And a win here is doubly important. Remember, the district playoffs are coming up. Line Mountain has a, has, has a giant win at South Williamsport, and now it's a matter of trying to win that district a seed so you go in as number one and get the home field advantage or it's going to be a tough road to hoe. Bowman. Quick quick pass out in the flat and incomplete. That one he had a rush. Jeff Evans in that time, That's 54. Right. Yeah, the, the dog. The dog got off his off his leash that time, off the chain and was <laughs> nipping at his heels. But and again, Je Jeff Evans, you, you can't say enough about him. He's been the push in that middle the whole That's time. Right. And he's loosened that whole line up for Sinkovich and Malakowski and, and Dalkus sides. a lot to yep. do a lot of damage. But he's the reason that they're able to do that. Fourth down, seven yards to go. Big fourth down play. 6.56 left on the clock. Bowman does that quick pass to Bartosic. Catches it. First down to the, about the four-yard line. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yard line. First down, Brady. What a great catch and what a great throw. Oh, Pressure. A pressure situation. Yeah, Bartosic made a nice catch that yeah. time. That's a hard ball to get a hold of, and he nearly put it in the end zone. So, again, the game just won't end, folks. Here it is. Ball sitting now on the four-yard line, first down and four, Braves. And you've got six minutes and 40 seconds sitting on the clock. Bowman looks into the corner. Touchdown, Braves! What a throw from Bartos or Broman to Bartosik. You don't see it that good in the pros, guys. No, you do like not that. see that pass as good in the pros. The kid's just on. He's on a different plane right now. He really is. I mean, he's his game has risen above everything on the field right now, and it's just amazing. You're watching an absolutely amazing performance in front of you in high school football tonight. 35-31, Red Tornado still hold the lead, but it'd be a lot nicer if there was only 28 seconds left now on the clock is, instead of 6:28. Again, a big extra point now for the Braves. Snaps back, it's down, the kick's up. And 
is good. With 6.28 left on the clock, the score, Red Tornadoes 35, the Braves 32. All right, now it's a three-point a three football game. And as I said, now, now it could become a field goal football game right. to get us into overtime. And I'll tell you what, I don't want to go into overtime with this kid. No. <laughs> Not tonight, at least, right? Big offensive series coming up for Big Red here in the fourth quarter. Really, the only other time this season they've seen this kind of pressure was at the Allentown Central Catholic game, where they find themselves behind with five minutes remaining in the football game. This time they're up, but I'll tell you what doesn't feel as good. <laughs> Watch for that onside kick, Wayne. You just well, don't know what he's going to try here. I'll tell you what. Uh, the way our defense has picked up a little bit, guys. You, you're oh, right. He he's is 22 of 40 for 383 yards oh, in the football game. Wait till you see the headlines in the paper tomorrow. Well, my headlines hopefully are going to read Red Tornadoes win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that too right now, but I'll tell you, it is, it is tough. Now you're going to see an onside kick. I mean, I, I really believe right. that's what they're heading to do now. Well, Terry, Ma well, yeah, they have the little guy in right now to kick. This is the first time you're going to see Garrett on the kickoff, and what he's going to do is put one up real high. No, he didn't. No, he kicked it deep, taken by Sebas, in and out of his hands, picks it up on about the 15-yard line, finds some room, and gets oh. out to about the 35-yard line. Nice run by Sebas yes. that time. I'll tell you what, 41 makes a, uh, makes a tackle there, doesn't make the tackle, and Sevis is down around the 40-yard line. Yeah, they had two safety valves. Did yes, you see that, did. Wayne? They kept they, 84 and 24 back. Now I th I, and that's, I'll tell you what, they went deep that time, and I think they were trying to catch us off guard a little bit, and it almost went over our head. But on the same token, they, they knew kicking deep, they were kicking the speed, and I think that's the reason why they had two safety valves back there. Out of the eye, go to Veach, up the middle. Gains about maybe four or five yards. Need to string some first downs together. Now field position's important also. If you're gonna end up punting, you wanna be punting from midfield on down to pin them deep. You got it. Field position becomes all important along with time now, along with all the important factors in a tight right. three-point game, folks. We're just not used to that many tight three-point games. Six minutes left on the clock and winding down the Red Tornadoes with a slim three-point lead. Steve Sinkovich in a tight end here on the right side, short side of the field, out of the split back. Go to Veach. Tries it up the middle and gets about a four-yard gain. We'll have a third down and three yards still to go, guys. Van Doren comes into the game with the play and might be the biggest play of the football right. game so far. 77 really Manning was in on the tackle on that play from his tackle position. Out of the eye formation. Paracella split far right. Van Doren in the slot on the left side. Going to go to Veach off that left side and takes up first, first down. Yep. Right. That, just, that was gut running yes, there, it really it was. was. All I saw was a bald guy's first head standing in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I missed the first down. Yeah, that was a good play by Veach that time. And that really, he knew exactly how far he had to go. And the best part about that first down, ladies and gentlemen, is that clock continues to run here at uh, Shikalimi Stadium. So 449, Warren. First down and 10, Red Tornadoes. Out of the eye. Pitch to Veach. Tries it outside. Good tackle made by 33, Mangle. Mangle's, Mangle's limping noticeably right now. I don't know. Oh, he's got a yeah, cramp. cramp. I see yeah. a, you see him get up, and he was really limping hard there. Now, they're putting 41 into the game, but I don't believe for him. They're, yeah, they're taking 72 out. But you got to worry about Mangle now if he is cramped up a little bit, how that's going to affect him. What they do with this 41, they, they try to blitz him off the right side. He lines up at the right tackle position. Sevis hands off to Bailey. Inside. First down at about the 44-yard line. Yeah, the fullback gave you everything you wanted that time. Picked up a great seven, eight yards that time and popped it over the first down marker. And that's what you, if Bailey did nothing else tonight, 
you know, if that was the only play you wanted him to do, he gave it to you. It really was. And, and sometimes you, you you have to try to remember what a little play like that sometimes means to a game. And, and he popped it off that time. That's what you want Bailey for. And the key was, you know, you're given the beach, 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 and now all of a sudden you have their linebackers keying on beach and where he's going. And that was, right. All that was was a little slant back uh, right. dive play. 328 and winding down. Sebas. Keeps the ball himself, looks for a hole, and gets about two yards. That play, that play is pretty much done with tonight. I think they really, they got burned by that play really badly in the first half, but they've closed right. it off completely here in the second half. They're not falling for that one at all any longer. And again, the, what you're trying with that play is all you need to do is get Sebas a, a little bit of room there, and you're hoping he's going to take it down the field for you. But they're stopping him right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. He's picking up almost no yards all the time on that play. Well, and right now you get three yards every play. It's a first down, and we can wind the clock out of here, Warren. Second down. Sebas to Veach. Oh, close to a first down. I mean, oh, it is a first down. Look where he landed. Yeah. I didn't see where he landed. I saw where the foul was, but he's over the first down marker, ladies and gentlemen. And now you're seeing you're they've, seeing what, what makes Mount Carmel area the football the ball, team they are. They brought the ball back. Now they're going to measure. Still a first down. I'll tell you what, Beach is running with some hard intensity, especially in this last series right here. Uh, you know, if anybody, he realizes exactly what mm -hmm. needs to be done. Pick up these first downs and keep the clock running. If, you, if you're going to be a champion, this is what you need to do. Yeah. Right. This, this is what it's all about. These games do not really hurt you. It's not pretty, but they don't hurt you, Warren. They keep you ready for those playoff games. First down, Mount Carmel. I knew it all the way there. You did. I don't care if it was a centimeter. I could see it. Well, obviously, this is the kind of game that now, I don't know what you're learning from this game, other than you never want to see this kid again no, as no. long as you live on a football field. Right. <laughs> but with Lion Mountain coming up, you got guys just like him. Right. I mean, <laughs> same kind of offense, same kind of wide open, throw the ball three times out of four all the time. So, yeah, maybe you did learn something from this. Right. I don't know. I think tonight we're learning that hopefully we can win and go home. 208 and winding down. Veach off the right side, and he goes down low and gets about five yards. Good run by Jonathan Veach. I would like to see his stats for tonight because, mm -hmm. he had, you know, in the first half, he, he had 77. He picked up some major yards. Well, Veach, Veach has got to be close to 200 yards yeah, in, the, in the game tonight. Well, yeah. You can't say enough about the Red Tornado offense tonight. They needed to put a right. game together, and they did from yeah, the first absolutely. quarter. Can you imagine if they hadn't put this game together, Chick would be out there in front. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, offensively, everything you could ask a football team to do, they've done. And, you know, we, we, said, we said that that was always the concern, but uh, I lost my train of thought. I was talking about who has time out there. But <laughs> obviously that was the concern that the offense couldn't put together itself on a drive and get some, some yardage and grind it out. And then he did all those things. And unfortunately, he did it against a team that, that was a quick strike, you know, knock your pants off kind of, kind of team that has 32 points up. And, I don't think we ever thought in this season we'd see 32 points scored You're against right. us. I mean, I think that was probably the best bet you were ever going to have. So, you know, who knows? That's that's what it's all about. That's why you play the game on both sides of the ball. Now, Schick, Schick is down in front of us here, and they're kind of all holding hands and, and, and hoping. Know, now, personally, I, I'll still say I'm, I'm still going to be against this holding hands thing, but <laughs> I mean, that seems to be the thing that brings you together, I guess. But me, I'd, I'd want to hold my helmet up or do something, but... He's holding a hand thing, sending the wrong signal to me. I'm not sure. Second down, six yards to go. 151 left on the clock. Second and six, ladies and gentlemen. One Second more down. One more timeout left for the Braves. Power left formation. Go to Bailey behind the power. Lots of room. And now Bailey carries it to the 12-yard line. And 145 left on the clock. Barring, barring a fumble, the Braves are right. done, ladies and gentlemen. The football game will be over. Again, Bailey comes up big in the in the fourth quarter. Bailey comes up when you absolutely need the big yards, and you know they're going after Veach. You know that Veach is the number they're looking at. Bailey comes back and pops off about 15 yards on that carry. First and 10, ball on the brave 12-yard line, minute and 34 seconds remaining in the football game. In the best football game you're going to see in a very, very long time. That's right. Veach, up the middle, gains about three yards. Chick will call his final timeout. And there it is. Yeah, they're out of timeouts now in the game. 
Well, I mean, there's there's not even a lot to wrap up here. If you watch this thing, I mean, nothing we tell you can can, can compare. I mean, it pales no, to what we've right. seen on the football yeah. field. We've seen a kid have a career day here today against us. He earned every single yard that he's got. We saw Bartosik, who we said was the best receiver we were going to see probably this year. Oh, we're, we're right again on him. So we're looking really good as far as talent goes here and picking it. predicting, right? Yeah, we predicted everything we saw. We just didn't see that they would be able to put that many points on the board against us. And, I mean, they absolutely have. They're sitting there with 32 points. So what can you say? It just, I mean, it's, it's, uh, you're glad you can, you're in a position to win this thing with, with this amount of time in, but... And you have to realize back in the first quarter, Mount Cormel was up 21 nothing. Right, we had right. gone up 21 you know. nothing in the first oh. quarter, our biggest offensive quarter since probably Tamaqua or Panther Valley. Right. You know, we haven't done that since that time, so you, you get that feeling that you were going to cruise on to a 42 to 6 or 42 to 13 victory, and now you're clinging for your life with a minute 14 left. So that's what, you know, again, that's what they play the game for. I don't care what the records say or what, what they say the team is. You got to go out there and actually do it if you're going to win. I think you said something about that. Going to go power right. Bailey will be the back. Sebas keeps the ball. Goes outside. Cuts it back. Touchdown. Touchdown. Red Tornadoes. And 75 to bust John Els out there to make the block <laughs> Absolutely. for Absolutely. <him. laughs> I just saw the trailways go by me there. And it actually, it was King Cole. I was, he was just... He was fooling with the trailways. <laughs> he was like there. King Cole bus go by and actually seals the football game. And the big guy who had a tremendous game offensively now lines up to do his probably his final center of the, of the night here. 107 left on the clock. 41-32. Good run by Sebas. Snaps back to Paracella from Els. The kicks up from Sinkovich. And it's good. 42-32. Red Tornadoes in the lead. What a football game. Mike Sinkovich. Now you get, I mean, you're absolutely going to take your hats off to this Shikalimi Braves team. And now you look at these Braves and you say, how the heck did they lose three games? Right. You know, I mean, what, what was happening in those three games? Because they certainly have all the, the tools out here to go undefeated. I think in the Danville game, it was a shootout one, yeah. just like this, wasn't well, it? No, or not? Danville, no. I think, was a, uh, Danville was like 40 to 7 or oh, okay. 14 or something. That was uh, a high-scoring game. Well, then I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> that that just took my everything I was going to say about it. That just took it away because Wayne, Wayne just said, nope, that wasn't it. He wrecked me on that one. <laughs> 58, Mike Sinkovich will kick off for the Red Tornadoes. <laughs> he does that little stutter step and does the pooch kick. 46, the ball carrier keeps it, and he was hit twice and then finished off by 29, Josh Paracella. But one minute left on the clock, and that's too much time for, for Bowman and, Bar and, and Bartosik, guys. <laughs> Not to put 10 points on, but... Well, I'll tell you what, the kid can go over 400 yards here, depending on what he yeah, does here right. right now. He can put 400 yards on the, on the, on the, on the passing stats here. Well, I think he's going to throw some long ones. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's close to it. But if he has to go back there and set up, our defensive line will get him. Bowman. It's that quick pass to Bartosik. Incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. 59 seconds left on the clock. I don't think Bartosik was ready for that. I, you know, I yeah, think that was really Bowman quick that up, time. <laughs> Bowman came up and had the ball before Bartosik the, was the, even looking. The, the, quick in, the quick in was too quick. <coughs> Tell you what, Bob, you know, we're, we're going heading back to, to Elston Manor here for some refreshments <laughs> after the game. And I'll tell you what, I hope you have a bottle of Jack Daniel. They're just going to drink straight <laughs> out of it when this baby's done. <laughs> Bowman, here's the big rush. And see the big hit from Sinkovich. Bartosik's out there. He catches the ball. And he gets about 40 yards after Sinkovich laid Bar or, or Bowman out on his back. I'll tell you what, this kid. He's over, he's over 400. He's over 400 yards. He did it. He went over 400 yards on that pass, folks. I don't think you're ever going to see that in a high school football game. <laughs> and he just downed the ball right there. And Bartosik on receptions has over 200, Warren. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, don't, don't ever forget what you've seen here tonight. No. I mean, my goodness. You have seen a kid do what would really become the impossible almost when you look at what he's accomplished and the hits that he took. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, I think in the, in the fourth quarter, 
uh, the, the main thrust here was uh, putting some hits on him from the from the defensive line of the yeah. tornado. Yeah. yeah. And I think they took their toll. Oh my goodness! This this guy can take your breath away. He really can. Back to pass. Looks right. Tries it over the middle to 21, and that's incomplete. Evans with the big hit on Bartosik that time, and right now he is taking some shots. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 40, 48 seconds in the game here now. Third and 10 now for the Braves. That was thrown just a little back behind Moyer, and that's true. They, you know, you hear somebody say over the game is not quite over yet, yeah. Warren. Well, you take a look after their first touchdown. They kicked a, they kicked a, uh, a short squiver and, and recovered the ball. And the way he's throwing right now, he could he could very easily score in one or two plays. Vich has 185 yards right now. Bowman. Looks at Bartosik wide open. First down and gets out of bounds at about the 20 yard line. Wow. First down grade. It's just something pretty to watch, isn't it? Pretty scary right now. Yeah, pretty <laughs> scary for us, but 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left on the clock. I mean, this kid's working, Bowman and, and Bartosik's working the sideline very well, aren't they? They know they have no timeouts and everything's got to be out in the flat. Catch the ball and you're out of bounds to kill the clock. How many first downs do you have in for 23? Bowman, big rush, looks in the corner of the end zone. Good play made in the corner of the end zone right, by... Beach. That's uh, Jonathan Veach. That's Jonathan Veach in on defense and defensive backfield. Played the ball perfect. That time, uh, Bowman kind of laid it up there a little bit. That was uncharacteristic of most of his passes tonight. But it uh, was under a lot of pressure that time. And brings up a holding, second, uh, a holding call, too, oh against the Braves. Now, that's not going to help either. Oh, that's going to bring up a second and, oh my goodness, it's going to be a long 25. one here. Second and 25 almost, 24. That that was a deadly penalty there, folks. Yeah. That's a, oh my goodness, look where that, look where that came back to. 10, you got 28 10, yards. 28 yards. First, it's, first, well, it's first down. First and yeah, first 28 and 28, now. right. 35 seconds remain on the clock. 42, 32 red tornadoes in the lead. <laughs> Looks over the middle of Bartosik, hit him. First down. No, it's not a first down. It's nope. it's complete pass for about a 20-yard gain. 21 seconds, and the right. clock's just running right here. The clock continues to run. They're trying to set up. He'll try to down it here, I think. No, he's going to throw. Big rush from Dalkas. Looks in the corner of the end zone. Intercepted. Intercepted. Oh, number, number two, two Chesney. Chesney. They're saying to touch the ground. Okay. I, it's in the farthest corner that we could be from us, so I didn't, I didn't see it hit the ground, but I thought he intercepted yeah. it, to tell you the truth. I didn't see it, the ball. There were two of us there wrestling for it. He, had the, he sort of had the ball, it looked like, before he even turned his back to hit the ground. Yeah. Seven seconds now remaining in the football game. Third down, one more play for the Braves, and this play will go into the end zone. I am absolutely <laughs> positive. What an amazing offensive performance by both teams. Because the Red has 42 points up there, 10 more than the Braves, no matter what they did. Tries it over the middle. Touchdown, Braves. Wow. 42-38. I'll tell you what, you, you know you're almost, almost glad he did it. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but you're almost glad he capped the end of the game. They're not going to win the game. There's not any time left. There's two seconds, in fact, on the on the score clock here as the game comes to an end almost. Shikalimi will line up and kick the extra point, which I would not do. Snaps back. It's down. The kick's up. And, and he it's missed it. no good. He missed it. So it stays 42-38. Now a, it's a four-point bulge. If you had any any thoughts of heroics with two seconds left, wow! That was one heck of a passing performance. Yep. You know what, Warren? You said something about when it was 21 nothing about a blowout or something, but you think it'll haunt you back and be a close game? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You said 14-13. That's what yeah. you said. Yeah. Didn't I ever say that? 42-38. Uh, uh, 
Wow. Never say that again as long as I live here. My goodness, folks. Yeah, 49 just for him or 49 for the team. And I'll tell you what, both these teams know they were in a football game tonight. There are a lot of guys out there just sucking for air right now. Now we're going to onside kick here. Oh, Mount Carmel area's got the hands people in. They'll be up tight. The key here, just fall on the football and the game's over. That's all you got to do. Nothing else needs to happen but right. fall on the ball and the game will be over. Just don't let them catch it and run it into the end zone. That's the thing, Warren, right? I see people in Mount Carmel, like they're, the side are leaving. I'll tell you, a lot more confident than I am right we, now. We said when there's 0 0 0 on this clock is when it's over tonight. There's the squibber. Terry Meyer, and he falls on it, and that should be the ball game. It is. That is the final score. The Red Tornadoes, 42, the Braves, 38. And we'll wrap it here while we watch it. Wow, what a great game. Terry Meyer hurt on that last play. We're oh hearing some goodness. yards Chuck here. Chuck Souders has, has been giving us the stats and back. I want to say thank you to him. 465 yards, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. 465 yards passing yards by one quarterback in a high school football game. Unbelievable. Stellar performance, doesn't it? <laughs> Stellar. I, I don't <laughs> know if there's a word that can describe what just happened. All right. And, now, he's, and he still lost the game. Yeah, which we, is, now, is that's where we're going to come back. We saw that. <laughs>